All right. We're live. Deadlands Thursdays. Uh, and these guys are in the middle of doing an advance. Um, and HG had a question. Every time he does something that has to do with a crazy roll, what now? Uh, whenever I pick up the new powers feat as a mad scientist, yeah. I have to roll up the chat table. This is like my third. It says got, I've already got like mumbler and schizophrenic, I think, or something like that. No, I'm depressed. It's better than evil deeds, I suppose. I'm, uh, I got absent-minded when I did that. I think. I don't quite remember. Hey, look over there. I'm adjusting volume here real quick. Yeah, my, my charisma score would be like a D4 minus D5. <laughs> Uh, Have they not gotten rid of that? <laughs> I'm sorry, which table is it? Uh, it's... Uh, he already did. Uh, oh. Dementia? Yeah, it's shared. Yeah. You already rolled on it? Yeah. So what'd you end up with? Let's see. Dementia. Depression. So you're depressed? You mumble to yourself? Yeah, no buts. Uh, I think I got eight, and eccentricity was the first one I picked up. He's eccentric, mumbles to himself, and he's he's clinically depressed. I think little beaver should take. Some yeah, you're talking like ghosts and stuff that aren't there. Little beaver should what, Greg? Take steady hands. <laughs> firing, the horse firing from the back of a horse or moving vehicles tricky business it removes the unstable platform uh is he, is, yeah j-rob did J -Rob show? yeah he's here you here j-rob yeah i'm here i yeah. need you oh. the character for me need you to release your character let's see dr king schultz i'm guessing somebody else played played yeah. the character last week yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I did. Okay, so um, you guys got an advance last session. And all of the, if you've got an ally, an NPC ally, they will advance once per every two of your advances. So every time you hit an odd-numbered advance, you guys just went to level 9. Then, uh, like when you go to 11, they'll get another advance. So Little Beaver gets to do something and I'll have to add it to a sheet for you but however you would want to advance him be it uh, an edge or increase you know his some of his abilities or something okay fair enough cool so who wants to give a recap Anybody? I can just do one real quick. We won. You did. You won a hell of a lot quicker than I expected you to. HG exploded. Exploded uh, Sister Agatha. Or Abatha. Agatha. I don't remember which was her real name and which was her fake name at this point. She went bye-bye for now. She exploded into mist or something. Yeah, he struck her in the chest. Boom, flat hand. Just about the same kind of move that... Uh, that dropped Jeb, Jeb Hexman in the Jade and Shanfan a month or so ago. Yep. Howdy ho, neighbors. Howdy ho. So, uh, so J Rob, uh, however you want to advance Dr. King and uh, Little Beaver, let me know about Little Beaver. And uh, so what did you guys do? What did each of you do on this advance? Drake, let's start with you. Uh, currently I have one, two, three, four, five, six choices. You're still thinking. <laughs> we'll come back to you. Uh, <laughs> and Gorgio, you, I know you, uh, for the uh, automaton, what the hell's his name, Rob Conway, you had to get him faster. So you put fleet footed on him, which is probably a good move. 
Yes. Uh, and then for Albert the Asshole, uh, he realized that his notices weren't so great, so he upped that by one day. <laughs> so he can so he can see things better than anyone else. Ah. Uh. Gotcha. Makes, um, you sure about that? <laughs> In his eyes, yes. Mm-hmm. The hell he's been yep, practicing he's his practicing. drinking. He does like to drink. Yes, he does. Uh, and then right now, right now, I think he's uh, trying to convince somebody to give him some booze. Wicked, what did you do with uh, H.G. Willikers? We'll come back to you. He's eating. Brad, what Whoa. did you do? <laughs> What did you do? Uh, well, Doc Fong was finally able to take the Woodsman Edge. Okay. I had wanted to before, but then uh, I didn't have... That's what I cut to get everything else. Gotcha. What's Woodsman Edge give you? Just kind of uh, tracking you abilities get a bonus and stuff? bonus to stealth and survival outside. Oh. Very nice. That fits in very well. All right. Back to you, Wicked. What'd you do with HG? Well, as to the gadgeteers, let me uh, play around with pretty much all the powers that have a three cost or less. So I decided to take new powers and pick up two bigger ones. Yeah. So I have damage field, so that when I get into close combat, I can just burn everybody around me by lighting myself on fire. <laughs> okay. And then I picked up summon ally, so HG can create a robot clone of himself that can blow people up. Oh, no. That's just what we need. Oh, um, no. I can take combat edges that are seasoned. Uh, You should be seasoned, yes. Yeah, I th yeah, think veteran. it's all but heroic and legendary. Yeah. Heroic is 11, I think. Mm, well, with what H.T. Willikers just said, I think I narrowed it down to two. I don't want to be in melee when he starts blowing himself up. So I'm going to take improved <laughs> extraction. <laughs> well, that's probably fair. <laughs> uh, there. Now uh, I can withdraw from melee uh, up to three. Three people? Or three, three targets? people, yeah. Three, three, three adjacent attackers. That's pretty good. You can get the hell out of Dodge. Venno, what did you, uh, what'd you do with Jeb? I increased his spirit die to combat the Manitou inside him. That's oh. probably pretty smart. Which He's in the spirit world. <laughs> yeah. Jeff's been meditating. <laughs> Timmons, have you gotten into the beans again? The broccoli. Oh God! <laughs> Which is worse? Uh, just smelling broccoli cook, man. I mean, it's like, did somebody rip one? No, Grandma's cooking cabbage and broccoli again. Oh, oh. cabbage and broccoli, yeah. Yeah, or making deviled eggs. Ooh, I love eggs. me some deviled eggs, but boy, so I clean out a room. I like me some pickled eggs. No, no. Uh, they taste like a they taste like a vinegar soaked racket ball to me. I just <laughs> <laughs> the texture. Uh, J Rob, I know that uh, you just got the memo, but uh, have you thought about uh, what you would do with Little Beaver or Doctor Schultz? Uh oh yes. I'm looking at the edges right now. Gotcha. Okay. We'll come back to you. Uh, so I'll do a quick recap. But you guys did, uh, through, th over a couple of sessions, you found out there's this big gunship coming in. And you were looking at this little kind of kind of runabout thing, primarily ore-powered. Ore and thinking, boy, it'd be nice to have a bigger gunship, you know. So you kind of set up an ambush for these people. And it went off very well for you because my die 
Rolling sucked last week, and you guys did really good. And HG, of course. Uh, happened to be in the right place at the wrong time for me, the right time for you guys. But uh, So you dispatched in pretty uh, six rounds, so roughly 36 seconds. The battle was over, and you guys obtained uh, what's, uh, the black horse. I had called it the red horse. That was wrong. It turns out Marv is losing his color. One of the horsemen. Yes, the black horse. We might change it to the horseman. The four the horsemen. Devil's horseman? No, just the horseman I think would be kind of cool. The horseman. So cross out the red and put man at the end of horse. That sounds like the chintzy way of doing it, but yes, that's how Timmons would accomplish it. He's like, I can't, I don't spell so well. Yeah, you could probably have her repainted. Um, but you guys realize that, man, it takes a crew of, of eight people that have boating skills, and you guys don't have it. So you talked, uh, Dwight, talked to Dwight Shelton and said, hey, can I borrow the tug and, you know, the barge, and we're going to take our wagons and stuff back to Shanfan and, and um, go try to find some sailors and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah. And get your resupplies and resupplies. You have yeah, your resupply in him. Then when you get back and you're able to sail this thing, you have to, uh, he wants you to get uh, his brother and his three nephews to the uh, Bayou Vermilion Railhead somehow so that they can go get uh, his herd out in Texas and, and truck him out here on train. I think one of you guys actually volunteered to pay for the train ride instead of driving him across the desert. I believe me and, and yeah. Al Albert were going to uh, use their vast banking knowledge to pay somebody to ship them. Right. Yes. Or give them the ability to pay somebody to ship them anyways when they get there. Okay. So uh, you are heading to Shed Shanfan where uh, you've you've kind of set up a, a bank account there and I don't know, you may have went about hiring an attorney or whatever you you know, a lawyer handle your legal stuff for you. But uh, you guys have been talking about setting up uh, in Shanfan as a base of operations. But then I'm not really sure where you went with that after that. So, but uh, I think we kind of we kind of just wanted to make sure that no one got a good look at us, so they could put up wanted posters. So we left town for a little while. That's kind of <laughs> yeah. There there is some potential problems with making Shanfan base of operations, but uh, Albert, who wants to expand his. Uh, he wants to set up his business that he used to have in Deadwood, and he's been looking for a place, and he knows that you know, there's there's really two cities uh, out here in California, and Los Angeles probably isn't going to uh, allow you know, a bunch of religious people down there. So Shanfan's about all he's got, and whether he makes it his base of operations or not, I, you know, I don't know. But Oh, he's fixing to. Okay, so... You guys are heading back to uh, to Shanfan. You've got the barge. You got your wagons loaded up. I don't know about your horses. I don't know how many we wagons you're taking. You're... We're taking both. Uh, Timmons is taking both his wagons and all four of his mules. Okay. I thought you were going to leave the mules. No, I need the mules to pull the wagons when we get to Shanfan. Oh, to well, that this, makes sense. This delivery, to the livery. And if we go somewhere out of Shanfan, we have uh, mules oh, and wagons you, and stuff. You were in saying Shanfan for maybe later. later. I think. Uh, Timmons may buy a horse and take it to the ranch, but did they have horses there? Yeah, they had horses at the ranch. Yeah, so, I mean, unless they need more horses, Timmons would just use a horse from the ranch when we're there but we're gonna have a big boat when we get back maybe hopefully well after looking at the boat we discussed this last session that you you guys pretty certain that you could retrofit this thing to 
you know, handle, you know, eight to 10 horses in, in one wagon by rebuilding some things. So, you know, you're going to have to spend some time either out there at the big end where they have a sawmill. Uh, you may want a shipwright with you, somebody that knows uh, something about, you know, building these ships and working on them. But you're heading to Shanfan, you could find a guy like that. And you're looking for a crew to sail the thing. But what other, what other tasks are you guys wanting to do in Shanfan? I do believe, I think we should go talk to Big Ears Tam, at least. And especially if we're talking about opening up some kind of base of operations or booby shop or, or whatever. Booby shop? Booby shop. Or, or, AKA. Well, uh, looks at, at Albert. He, he, he's, he's, a, he's a booby man. He's in charge of boobies. Mm. What exactly is a booby shop? A whorehouse. It's a whorehouse, okay. yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I was getting a very odd image of a, a plastic surgeon selling uh, breast implants out of the back of his car. The back of his wagon. It's, oh it's Lord. like, a, like a, our dentist tooth wagon, but a little... Yeah. <laughs> With a boob on top of it. Uh, and it, it... <laughs> He's so Spanish, tempted. and his horse's name is... Jose. Jose. So tempted to go into the uh, uh, take advantage of our pussy for a penny shopping dialogue. <laughs> from, uh, hold on. You know, we got red pussy, we got black pussy, we got Spanish pussy, we got hairy pussy, <laughs> we got pussy with the crabs, we got snapping pussy. We got it all. So you can, you can see this business being successful. Uh, so Absolutely. speaking of potential clients, uh, we should also ask those assorted sailors if they know anything more about that person we were tracking down. The sailor. The uh, the the pirate guy. Yeah, or the uh, the woman who the herbalist woman who knows where he might be, maybe. Yeah, you'll. I mean, you Hattie Hornwell. You you know that there's uh, some old herbalist healing lady and you actually have heard of her before doc fong that lives out on some little island out in the maze someplace um you could probably get directions to find her place pretty easily and they say that she knows everybody in the maze if anybody would know how to find rabid rants oh she's that kind of girl is she is, is that the lady from uh josie wales is that her name that owns the store Mind you, put that poultice on there to Josie Wales. Yeah, that's the one I talk about, sir. Granny Hawkins. <laughs> you got a picture of her now you can use for when we find her. Yeah, there you go. That's, her. that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's exactly what... Uh, yeah, we will do that. We will reset chips, cards, all that stuff. So let's do that first. Let me do a, a chip read. Oh, he could. While we're looking for people to work on the ship, we might ask around about her location as well. All right, we should have uh, chips in there now, plenty. There are 30 white chips, 15 red chips, 8 blue chips. Zero legend chips at the moment. Uh, okay, so... There's your fake chips. Bam. Reset the adventure Ooh, card. Blue chip. Adventure deck. So you guys got new cards. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, I love having all those wild cards in the combat tracker over there. I love my adventure card reinforcements. No, that's not the fun one. No, yeah, that's yes, fun. It is the fun one. Last time that one showed up for some reason, someone played it, and we led to an undead Jeb. Oh, 100% going to play it sometime. That's all right. If he plays that, I'll just play Angry Mob. That doesn't necessarily make friends show up. What, is, what does Angry Mob do? It summons an angry mob. Nice. A mob of angry locals, about two per hero, join the fight. Whether they are friend or foe depends on the situation. <laughs> we do that in, in Shan Fan, and suddenly all the people from the the part that HG may or may not have burned down show up. Yeah. Allegedly. All the Chinamen come. It's not my fault the locals don't tend to like us very much. Well, maybe a little bit, but... Yeah, but uh, I think restitution had been uh, agreed to with uh, Big Ears Tam on burning down uh, part of the skids. Yeah, we agreed to do something for him, I think. He hired us. That's what it was. He hired us to do something. Yeah, he wanted uh, you guys. By the way, I probably need to make a quest for that. Yeah, because our memory is stuck. Yeah, we're old. That happens. Uh, Speak for yourself. I'm yeah, probably, so, I'm, some, of us, said, some of us age isn't the problem. I said, I'm probably the youngest here. Marbania is old enough to be my daddy. Damn. Well, uh, we got old. we got good news. We got bad news. Well, what's the good news? Well, the good news is is we we found your father. Uh, what's the bad news? Your father is Marbania. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so we're about to set sail that way, or did we already do that part? It's Marbania. He has a token. Do what? 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 I mean, that's Granny. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> that's fantastic. Eddie Ornwell. If you ask me, that's Doodly Squat. Doodly Squat. That is my favorite all time Western. Oh, and then there's somebody posted a picture of Albert's kids. <laughs> hey, it happens. I hear banjo music paddle faster. So there. Stop farting, Albert. Uh, fart spiders. Yes, yeah, so there's your other quest. I knew there was one I forgot to make. Couldn't figure out what. It, there's all kinds of shit you guys are could get into, but uh, that makes it fun as long as you guys kind of give me an idea which direction you're going. Oh, that's oh, so we don't actually need to go see Warlord Quan. We just need to find out who one of the Tongs is working yeah. with them. Though Warlord Quan is supposed to know about occult things and 
Jeb was interested in that, I believe. That's right. They're not Warlord Quan, but somebody that worked for him. Well, one of his guys. Or somebody that lived in, uh, in what is it, Fort Norton? Is that the name of the place? There is, there? Either way, there's supposed to be a lot more occult people there than in Chan Fan, right. in Quan province. Yeah, most Chinese kind of shun the occult and, uh, you know, magic, all that stuff. But uh, Warlord Quan, he's got some people that work for him, and he tends to embrace it. A little Beaver? Or, uh, I'm sorry, J-Rob, uh, have you thought of anything? And if, if not, that's that's okay. We'll roll I'm, on. I'm still going through the... Okay. Yeah. Yep, you just, just let me know. Interrupt me and let me know when, and we'll take care of that. So, in Shan Fan, you guys want to find some sailors. Probably find a shipwright. Yay? Nay? You gonna try to do it yourself? We need to find. No, a we want we no, want somebody. We want to hire a full guy. full crew, a full captain, shipwright, and crew. Oh, you're gonna hire to a captain pilot. too? Yeah. Yep. Whoa. Okay, you want to do that? Uh... They're just gonna steal our ship. <laughs> you need to. What's that? Yeah. What was that? Wicked. He, they said uh, he said they're gonna steal our ship. Is there gonna be captain just gonna sail away? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, if they want Timmons mad at him, or HG. Or Jeb, <laughs> right? I don't. I don't know. We burnt down half of freaking damn the sh the shack. What is it called down there? It was only Skid. a third, allegedly. A third. Don't you know who we are? We will find you. All right. So I think what H. G. Willikers is trying to say is, we need to have some captain that's this reliable and honest, which might be a little difficult. Well, you just, you just never know. We just uh, need to convince him that HG has the ship rigged to explode if he does anything bad. <laughs> uh, it doesn't well, seem we, like it's a we could, get a, we could get a captain to the Explorer Society there. That's true. Check out that's, probably, to sail. that's probably a good spot, the spot to start find, trying to find people is the Explorer Society. Yeah, They I seem agree. to be somewhat reliable. So we go to uh, what was it the the Sunshine House, House of the Rising Sun. I don't think it's the House of the Rising Sun because I keep wanting to call it that. But uh, you cut out Drake. I think he may have dis done his nightly disconnect. That might have been. Yeah. <laughs> or that maybe is what um, Al Albert could use as his place's name. Oh, there we, can, uh, we can we can do uh, <laughs> so we get to the docks and we pay for a slip or whatever we unload the wagons the mules the freaking the horses whatever we're offloading and then we make our way across town we're gonna board the wagons and stuff in the livery because you can't really maneuver that shit very easily in Shanfan. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get. Once oh, you get should... it through town, you want to kind of leave it there. Yeah, so we want to get that out of the way, get it done. I mean, what time of day do we get in Shanfan? Uh, you know, let's roll. Well, it takes. Let's figure this out. So it takes about Anyways. about two days with the tug. And uh, pushing a barge, uh, maybe a little bit longer than that. You leave in the morning, spend the night, get up, leave this. So it's probably evening when you get there. You probably pull in in the evening, um, which is uh, probably the best time to try to get the wagons through Champagne. Yeah, probably. So it's going to be a long night, fellas. Well, we probably slept a lot on the damn boat. Timmons did anyway. Timmons, I, I'm wide awake. I drank. <laughs> I drank that left that whole time. So we get the we get all that crap off the the uh, tug and everything, and uh, we inquire about re 
um, fuel in her and find supplies. I, I guess we should check with uh, Why is this student thing popping up on my Discord now? Did you invite that scam bot back? Official <laughs> Discord message. Yeah, okay, right. Oh no. Scam bots, what the fuck? <laughs> this this thing looks like official, man. I don't know, I'll look at that later. So wagons, mules, horses, whoever brought their horses, we put in the livery. And uh and then I guess we're going to the sunshine. Sunrise. Sunrise house. And get our nice house fluffy sun. beds and rooms and take a shower and a bath and sleep in until noon. House of the rising sun. Gotcha. Well you get there and uh you get to, you know, you're, I, I, I assume you're going to uh, the livery of the north end of town where all the white folk go because they're not allowed, like in uh, amongst the general population. The Chinese don't like them too much down here. But they bring Dude, in cocksuckers. They bring in gold, so they like that. So you make your way up there. You store your, your horses or your wagons, your mules, um, and then you make your way to Sunrise House. Now, you also have to try to make uh, arrangements to transport uh, a herd of a thousand head of cattle from Lubbock, Texas. I think you said you were going to do that here. <clears throat> but you get to Sunrise yeah. House. And uh, Dillinger is here. And Smythe is here. And they welcome you guys back with open arms. You boys been up all night drinking? We've been pretty dirty. You don't want to be hugging us. He says, young man, the last time I stayed up all night drinking was when I killed the jackalope. Uh, it was quite an adventure. Remind me to tell you sometime, because right now, I've got my nose in the middle of something. Yeah, oh, yes. Which we had it taxidermied. It's, it's mounted, hanging over the fireplace at the Grand Hall in uh, London. Hmm. Quite intriguing. I've always wanted to get some of their antlers. Powered. I, I'd killed three of them before. I, I put antlers on a pumpkin before. Well, how hard is that to catch a pumpkin with antlers? Uh, Smythe looks at you in Gorgio, and he just smiles and kind of shakes his head. And he says, fantastic, fantastic. So what have you all been about? Anyway. So we, we tell him the short little... Three hour the tour three hour, story. The three, three hour tour. Uh, he tells you that, you, you know... see, the weather started getting rough. Yeah, three hour tour in the house packed everything they needed for ever. Movie stuff. Speaking stop. of Thurston Howell, what was uh, Dillinger saying? Dillinger was saying... Gilligan, my boy. Gilligan, my boy. Uh, no, he tells you that he said, uh, so you guys are looking for a crew, you're looking for a captain and all that. And he said, uh, he tells you, he goes, well, uh, said, I don't know a whole lot about it, but, uh, let me see over here, over here. Oh. Not less than he said there's uh, one of the other explorers are here in town. And uh, she actually used to, uh, you know, captain her own vessel. And uh, that uh, she's here for the big meeting. And that... Big meeting? What, what's this big meeting? Dillinger goes, well, how, we have it. haven't you seen uh, this week's edition of the... Epitaph? We don't get the epitaph on the tug, unfortunately. Well, he pulls pulls it out and and uh, holds it up there to you. Timothy. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Timothy. I'm looking for some. 
Words aren't my forte. It's you get this. A fellowship of travelers will met at the Fallen Angel Saloon in Perdition this Saturday at high noon. Attendance is required. What day of the week is it now? Uh, you left on Sunday. It is now Monday, Tuesday. You probably have just enough time to get back to the Big M. And then, uh, you know, maybe get on down towards Perdition. So you may not have time to retrofit this ship just yet. If you were to make this meeting. Well, we're not we're not gonna retrofit the ship probably for a month, I would well, guess. If if we get a ship right, we can have them start directing that. Well, we'll we'll do that at Big Ranch. We have lumber and a sawmill, and we can do all that at the the shipwright can do that with the crew while we go to Perdition. G gentlemen, gentlemen, let me bring to your attention: we all have quite a bit of money, and we could probably have the ship retrofitted here if we were to bring it here top of the line just saying there's a big shipyard there's probably a thousand chinese down there building ships every day the chinese they do good work isn't that right dr fang chinamen cocksuckers <laughs> doc fang is it true Maybe we just hire some good old boys questions. to do it, and hopefully it floats. What'd you say, Brad? Did you say anything to this insult? Oh, is it true what they say about men with large mustaches? They have large combs, yes. Uh, I heard that they are in need of the special patented uh, right powdered rhino horn for natural <laughs> male enhancement. Uh, I have no problem with uh, with enhancements. Uh, if you want to uh, whip it out, I will whip it out. So we have a, a, a pissing contest right now, boy. <laughs> Timmons uses his uh, his improved extraction. Roll a d12, and Gorgio. Oh God, gentlemen, there's no well, need to your privates. That's nothing to be embarrassed about, right there. No, sir. They got Doc. They're going to get pee on you. You better step back over here with me. Agreed. I must take my leave. Shh, don't tell it, HG. He doesn't notice it yet. It Shh. probably would be good. I saw how much he had to drink when he was trying to compete with Jeb when he lost horribly. <laughs> Didn't he shit himself? He did shit himself, yes. <laughs> Eventually. He's an asshole who doesn't know when to stop. And he's never wrong. Well, you know, Dr. Schultz has a... He's got an alternative idea. Uh, that's a possibility as well. Maybe we should inquire about that option as well. That's a good idea, Doctor. Doctor and Doc. That's not confusing at all. No. Timmons, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I'm glad you see the logic in my thoughts. The 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 logic? Yeah, I, su I suppose that's what it is. I just thought it was a cool thing. Let's see here. What is uh, da, 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 da. So, uh, how you taking to this little beaver? You, you all right with the big city? And he kind of steps away, using his improved extraction. <laughs> <laughs> little beaver, no care for a big city or white man. You want to stay on the tug? What about the Chinese? The 
I say we like hire from both sides. That way they won't be united against us to steal their stuff. <laughs> it's like if we hire the engine crew from like the Chinese people. I speak man. If she speaks Mandarin anyway. You know, they probably have better gunners. Mm -hmm. Cool. That way, that way, if they do fight and like, <laughs> one and, like so the other group can steal it, they don't have enough people to run the show. Thank you, Bill. I'm glad. Nice. <laughs> I got a little cool. Nice. Talk Thank about hard pitter pattered. Talk about shit yourself. <laughs> you just think that's so damn funny, don't you? Oh, it's hilarious. Uh, let's see. Let me make sure I've got that turned up good and loud over here in the. Uh... And some biddies. Thank you, Vino. That's getting. By the way. Uh, I saw the cost of cams and stuff's coming back down, so I think I'm going to order you one of them this week so I can get you on. Gut rot. Right. What's going on with Drake's cam? Is Drake AFK at the moment? Yeah. I'm, no, I'm that says, that says man boobs. What, are you looking at boobies? Don't be <laughs> looking at boobies. I was like, holy shit, they're mad. <laughs> She's laying down. They're really huge. <laughs> no, when the screen screen thing, it's kind of doing this weird distortion effect against uh, Timmons' character. Thank you, Brad. Uh, You're guess, still lagging behind, though. Against what now? Timmons, uh, Drake's so AFK. Up to number two. Yeah, but there's like this weird distortion on his cam. Why? Does nobody else see that, like on the stream? Maybe oh, on the stream. Oh, that's, that's Chroma. Uh, Chroma Cam, dude. That'll go away when he comes back. Yeah. 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 That's all right. I see what you're talking about. Oh, we're trying to hide his face. I mean, Timothy is a good looking fella. For his mm. tech, or for ours. For a bunch of ugly fellas, he's good looking. Whatever helps you sleep at night, uh, Timmons. Timmons has no problem sleeping. It's just... It's just stopping that. That's the problem. It's waking up. Is that better? Oh, yeah. No. Uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 it's not. Let me, uh... Let me dial that out some. Let's see. Drake filters. There we go. Much better. Much better. Agreed. Well, if he's using Chroma not Cam. I'm not using Chroma Cam. I have a green screen. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I'm picking up a little bit of your green screen. It must be that the, that's the, it's the drab shirt again. We wore our, See Drake and I color coordinate oh, yeah. our wardrobe, yeah. I can do that. I can change shirts. Not on stream, though, because we'll get banned. <laughs> yep, no nipples. No nipples on the stream. And you guys would throw up and we'd do vomit for an hour. X nay on the Ipples nay. No Ipples on the stream, A. <laughs> Thank you for that vomit. You're welcome. Uh, Albert's just getting it out of the way because it's going to happen soon. All right, so one of the things you're, I mean, you guys are sitting around talking about this. And he tells you, he says that, uh, you know, one of the explorers here, she might be able to help you out. And uh, he said, you know, she'll be in for breakfast in the morning or whatever. And you talk to her then. Um, what else did you want to do on the, your first night in Shan Fan? Knowing you don't have much um, time. I sent you a PM. Did you happen to get that? Because uh, it looked like I just pull up stream. Ah! It doesn't look like a code. Oh, did, it, did you see it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I run a stream client, Gorgio. So, uh, yeah, it's got different 
different chat. Hey, well, fancy. Well, it's got its shortfalls, though, because if you type something in a different language that, you know, that the stream client doesn't have, they don't have any languages because there's no character there. So you can't, you know, the stream doesn't pick up any of that chat. But, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I got that. I got that. There. Purpley purple. Nerd life. Nerd life. Well, now I come over here and filter that green back out a little bit. A little bit. No, 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 no. Let's see. I imagine we will want to meet with um, Tom in the morning, Mr. Big Ears. That is true. Is there anything we need to take care of in the meantime? Mm -hmm. Well, let's, uh, can we have a map of like where Perdition is at? It's near Los Angeles, if I'm not mistaken. It's like farther past where the big M ranch would be. It's yep. like we'd go stop yeah, wasn't there. It, wasn't it that ghost rock man? Uh, is this one of the maps that ain't working? I got to need more fuel. I seize it. Maybe give it a moment before it load. Hell, it ain't even loaded on my stream client. It's Southern California, right? With Los Angeles and Perdition and shit? Yeah, Perdition. Just to the east of Los Angeles by oh, about a day's ride. So I think it, the case would be we would drop off the new crew at the Big M Ranch and then keep sailing that a ways. Hop off and run over to Perdition. Well, I was thinking that if we took horses, we could uh, ride back to Shanfan and the ship could meet us there if we took the crew with us. And this, these maps haven't been updated not... because the uh, the rails have just about connected. I mean, uh, you know, you got your here's your Bayou Vermilion line down here. Oh, did that map open? I don't know. Did it not open for you guys? I, I closed nope. it because I gave it. I also closed it. I see it. All right. Yep. It's uh, Perdition's just just eat. But now the other question is. I mean, Lost Angels is the only port down there, really. You can go to Bear's Claw, but uh, you don't know anything about Bear's Claw. And then it's probably a good, you know, if you're riding horses, you know, two, three-day ride north of there. All right. California is the main. Oh, okay. So we are Shan Fan. And... I know this one. Uh, I know this one will work. It'll be. This is the one that came with. Yeah, so Perdition is like. You know, out here somewhere. Oh, okay, and and uh, the M Ranch is somewhere. Oh uh, wait a minute, no, here. that's that's Lions Roar. Hang on, there's Lost Angels. Yeah, Perdi actually, Perdition's got a. It's down there somewhere. Yeah, it's right there. And we're and we're and Shanfan's up there. Oh yeah, so that would be silly. 
Yeah, I was we're, thinking we're, it was more out here somewhere, but no, <clears throat> that would be silly. And where is the General Khan's province? It's somewhere. That's it, in the middle part, northeast yeah, of cool. Lions Roar. Yeah, it, it's a little bit closer to Lost Angels. Fort Norton's right in the middle. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, where is the Big M Ranch? Big M Relative Ranch Lost is Angels. uh, right you know, there. It's, yeah, it's right about there. It's probably perfect. How far is it from Lion's Roar to Perdition on horse? Lion's Roar to Perdition on horse. Uh, about 200 miles. You can cover about... 20? I mean, it's, it's open country on pretty popular road. So, you know, if you rode straight through, you could cover 45, 60 miles a day on horse. Be a hard ride. Yeah, it's 400 miles from Shan Fan to uh, Lost Angels. By the way, the crow flies. Holy shit, that's a drive. And what, what was Lion's Roar? Did we go there? We went past there. So we don't know what's there then. We could maybe see if we can ask around about Lion's Roar and Bear's Claw. Well, I mean, you could ask uh, Dillinger and Smythe here. Pennington Smythe. Hey, Dillinger and Pennington Smythe, what do you know about the towns of Lion's Roar and Bear's Claw? Well, let's just say over here. Let me go at it from the library. Savage places. Where are savage locales? Here they are. You said Lion's Roar. Well, Lion's Roar is not even listed in here. The other one's Bear, Bear's Claw. That's not listed there either. Okay. Well, then I'll go to the PDF, damn you. Uh, well, Lions were supposedly uh, the uh, Warlorn King's access to the Great Maze. <laughs> yeah, I believe Warlord King. And so is Bear's Claw. Yep. Yep, Warlord Kang uh, controls both those towns. Yeah, I'm sensing a familiar or a similar motif between the two. He also owns the Iron Dragon Railroad that uh as you can see runs out of Oregon all the way down to Shan Fan and then almost to Lion's Roar. And who was it that attacked us while we were on the train with Red Petal Sue? That's a uh gyroscopper. That wasn't Kang though. Yeah, that was uh, Warlord uh, Warlord was Kang's it? Warlord Kang's uh one of his one of his uh, very close probably his right hand woman. Just the whole railroad. Fuck it. I'm not so Why sure not? we should be we should set up a base of operation in either place. <laughs> Start at our own town where the railroad begins. So, yeah. so, sorry, Doc Fong. Doc Fong wanted to know if Tijuana existed after the Great Quake and I said yes, but like San Diego, it's sunken. Oh. See this says ruins of San Diego? It's okay. Tijuana sucks anyways. Hey, look, there's a Kraken. 
tentacles. A crack in what? Leave your crack out of this, Drake. If it goes to Shanfan, there's a crack in. Okay, so... So let's see, we're at sunrise talking to spins and spinsters, and uh, we agree that we should try to make it to perdition on Saturday. But in the meantime, we need to hire a crew, a captain, we need to talk to big ears and go to the bank and go to, I guess, the where would you hire train people at the train station, I guess, right? Yeah, you go book a, yeah, buy a ticket on the train. Or, yeah, we'd have to make, I guess we could purchase, like, you know, rent on carts and, and stuff and then give it to the, to the brother and he can go back and, or should we just give him a cashier's check or something? I don't, I don't know if I trust him enough to give him a check. Who? What are you talking about? Can we just tell him that uh, when he gets there, send us a telegraph, we'll arrange for money to be sent? I was talking about the brother that we're oh. going to pay for his herd to get moved to the ranch. Well, that would be the Bayou Vermilion. Get him a big, big wad of cash or something? No. We need to figure out how to... So it goes up to the In town of 1879, Railhead. 1879, what kind of payment forms were there other than cash? Well, you could wire money, you know, and and have it, uh, you know. That's what stagecoaches, why people rob stagecoaches. A lot of times they were transporting, you know, money from banks to bank to bank. Uh, not to mention payroll, which is what they tend to rob all the time in the old westerns we're gonna rob the payroll off the stage well they carried money to banks as well um also you don't question. you really don't have to take care of that right now i mean you could do that when you're in perdition and after perdition just ride down to the railhead and uh, that's and, what i was gonna ask <laughs> you know say i want to yeah i want to buy a passage you know for a thousand head of cattle from lubbock texas to here and they'll fill out the paperwork, and we can give it to the boys, and they could take it on the train and to where they're going. Yeah, yep. we could that sounds pick like a them plan. up along the way and uh, take them with us. Drop them off at Railhead after we go to Perdition. All right, so who's going to remember that that's what we're doing after we go to Perdition on Saturday? He's in charge of that. Just stay out of HG's liquor. You might be all right. <laughs> no promises all right so we got that kind of handled we got uh we need to hire a crew let's ask uh over breakfast in the morning or, or late brunch or whatever we ask uh putting some smart Hey, fellas, we need to hire a crew and a captain for our new vessel we took from that Abigail, Abigail woman. Agatha? Yeah, that's her. Do you, do you tell him you took a vessel from somebody? We smacked her in that face uh, and she, she disappeared. Yeah, she just abandoned it, so we took it. I believe you call that Finders keepers, losers weepers. In your the black horse, that's the name of it. We're well, gonna rename it though. Well, let me. Uh, did you just say the black horse? Yeah, we're gonna rename it to Little Pony or something. I don't know. When you say this, the look on Pennington Smythe and Dillinger's faces—they just both look at each other, and then they look back at you. L let me see if I understand this correctly. Did you just say you've taken the black horse from the Reverend Grimm? 
uh, well, it, he wasn't actually in possession of it at the time. But yeah, we are the current owners of it. Tentatively. We all look a little nervous, like, uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, you see Dillinger's kind of got a, a kind of half cock smile on his face and he just kind of looks down like this. <laughs> and, uh, Pennington Smythe looks at you and he says, that was part of the agreement between Hellstrom and Reverend Grimm from the way I understand it. That's what sealed the deal to allow the Wasatch into the city. And now you tell me you've taken it. You fellas may have opened a can of worms. Well, they shouldn't have come after us. It's not Where like they need it anymore. Man? Where did this... In... Uh, I have, I'll, I'll stop short of saying act of piracy, but... Uh, where exactly did this engagement take place? The big M ranch. Same place you, same place you get your meat from. Oh, the big M, Mr. Shelton. And this is his brother and his son. And he looks over and he says, I know your brother Dwight. He's been sleeping well. on your couch last night. <laughs> He'd be sleeping on your couch tonight. Uh, yeah, so uh, he, he basically he tells you that, you know, when, when there was the the big rail war, the, the battle that took place outside the city of Los Angeles, that eventually Wasich, Hellstrom's Railroad, uh, was allowed to come into the city by Grimm. But there were, you know, there was some wheeling and dealing. And part of the agreement was that uh, Hellstrom provided him with this big fancy ship. Oh, uh, well, I'm not too fond of uh, Hellstrom either, so. Thanks for that view, Brad. And to fix the court. Hey, zip your fly, man. <laughs> what fly? <laughs> yeah, so he tells you that. He, um, anyway, he goes about, he says, well, if you're in need of a captain and crew, he said, uh, you know, one of our fellow uh, explorers is staying here at the hotel. Uh, I believe she's turned in for the evening, but she, like I said, she'll be here for to break fast in the morning. And she, uh, she knows, uh, she can probably help you with, uh, getting a reliable, trustworthy crew. Uh, what's her name? Do we have a secret handshake? Her name is Sister Agatha. I'm kidding. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, uh, her name, good sir, is Pussy Galore. Pussy Galore. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's Girl Friday. I thought I saw her in the company of Mr. Albert there. <laughs> I thought I had already made these people up, uh, but they're not there. Uh, her her name's Alice. Like from Mel's Diner? Alice Luke. Ride. Alice Luke Kettinger. Early to bed. <laughs> and in between, I cooked that and cleaned it went out of my head. Dr. Schultz breaks out in song. What are you drinking, Dr. Schultz? Ah, nothing. Dr. Schultz Whiskey. might not be drinking anything, but J-Rob might be. <laughs> Al uh, Albert definitely is. It's peach flavored, if you really want to know. Uh, Remedies, hosted with six viewers. Welcome, Robin. Thank you, Remedies, for, for the raid. Four raiders from Remedies. And hosted. Hello, Robin. Fantastic. Robin with an I. Robin with an I. Robin with an eye. Batman Robin. F yeah, Alice's Restaurant. That's right, Drake. That's perfect.
So, anything else you guys want to do tonight? Timmons is already asleep on the couch over there. Uh, yes, um, I already mentioned to you though what I was wanting to do. You do what? Yes, there was something that Albert wanted to do tonight, but I already told you. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, that happens. Uh, where do you hire this guy from? Local unemployment office, or you just go down to one of the taverns and... Yes. Okay. Go down to go down to a tavern and try to find the uh, the biggest, baddest looking woman. Uh, not tonight, Doc. Yeah, uh, his his shop is closed for the night. Um, so yeah, we'll say that you're able to do that. Um. Roll me a percentile die. All right. Fifty-two. I see twenty-five. It's a twenty and five. Oh yeah, twenty-five. Yeah. Weird how it That's displays weird. it though. Okay. I was just wondering. Never mind, we'll just how stable this guy is. Oh, God. So, what do you do with him, by the way? Uh, <laughs> what, are we, what are we talking about here? This is getting uncomfortable real quick. Uh, red <laughs> card. Can I play a red card? A red card. <laughs> Is that like a penalty card? No, uh, it's, a, it's a flag, and things are getting inappropriate for the stream, you know. A red card. Mm. It's a new thing. Hi, Dragon Bait. Good morning. Welcome. Um, uh, and how much do you offer to pay him? I'll pay him... I'll pay him a thousand... A month. What? Oh. Wait, what? Who? What are you doing? What, what is he doing to you? I mean, you guys what, have I mean, no idea. Have you have no idea. But uh, Albert just left. He left. <laughs> so. Yeah, right. He's getting. Is he it's not. Some it's not guy on the street corner. <laughs> not so like. Tiring body double because he keeps losing all these drinking contests. It's not like I can't afford it. Yeah. So. um... So anything else that you guys uh, want to do tonight? No, Timmons is already out. It's late. Plus, he did all the work all getting right. the damn mules and the freaking wagons off the damn barge. Yeah. Oh, Jeb would have helped. So quit your belly aching. Yeah. Well, you guys Jeb wake up. Always help. You get down. Always helpful. You get down to the common room the next morning, and uh, here's Albert. And he's got with him Willie Longtam. You guys might remember uh, Willie Longtam Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. What's up, buddy? It is Tuesday. Did you bring him tacos? And I'll, I'll, I'll gesture to him and say that uh, this is Mr. Wu. Taco Tuesday. Look, he knows his name. Look at him smiling. All right, so let me. He actually probably hugs <laughs> Timmons. Sorry. I know you pay good money for it. Uh, if essentially I hired uh, a Mr. Wu. What's a Mr. Wu? Anything you want him to do for a thousand gold pieces. <laughs> Anything. A thousand dollars. What is it in crowns? What What are we dealing in? Uh, the well, there's currency. silver dollars, and there's ten dollar gold eagles. So a silver dollar is a dollar. Silver dollar is a dollar. That's right. Uh, but that's like coins, right? So a ten thousand silver dollars would be like a trunk. So 
So yeah, yeah, Mr. Wu here yeah. is going to look at look at look after our stuff. Well, look after my businesses here. <laughs> Good God, Jay Rub. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you think he was talking about? Yes, he did hire a cocksucker. No, uh, he sent me something else to start it, and that's what I'm commenting on. Oh. <laughs> you might as well share it with the rest of the class, J Rob. I will do it. I'll put it in the chat. And I'll share it with the stream just so they know what the hell we're talking about. That would be Ben's luck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my don't, don't post that shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh that's shit! That's somebody's. That's somebody's daughter, man. That's, that's somebody's mama. That's man. somebody's little girl. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry, but she's I ugly. I can tell you this, but that's somebody's girlfriend. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is in court. She didn't she? get that look. Or is that church? She's in no, church now. As a virgin. <laughs> that look is <was> evil. <laughs> now listen, she's a fine girl. Okay, she just got some problems going on. Okay, that's all. Do you ever date those, those really thin girls that you could just look at them and you could see the, the heavier, bigger girl just waiting to come out? Well, that's what happened. You tell me she was thin at one time. I am. We all start off thin. We just all kind of swell up eventually. No, uh, uh, some people start off fat from a baby. <laughs> you saying she still got baby fat? She's only no. eight. What are you talking about? She's only eight years old. Still counts. Well, that gets really yeah. weird with the caption then. Still counts. <laughs> oh, fuck. The you quote of the year right there. <laughs> it I'm is. Red card on that. <laughs> red card it out. Albert, uh, did that share with you? It did. Drag it to your allies tab. <laughs> I love the token. All right, so you have just paid Mr. Wu, air quotes, $1,000 a month is what you've agreed to pay him to take care of your business here in town. Yes, sir. So now he's about half drunk. Now, Perfect. This is this is the this Taco Tuesday guy, right? That wasn't yeah. just a joke. That no, as a matter of fact, he's still got still bearing some of the scars from uh, uh, whenever those guys kicked his the uh, Thin Noodles Ma's tongs kicked his ass outside uh, the Jade. Remember that when you found him face down? Yeah, after? we put him. We put him in the in the rickshaw and we rickshawed him to Big Ears Tams. Kind of just left him at the gate. Well, evidently, uh, you guys see him and you're like, "Hey, it's Taco Tuesday," and, and and you see Albert's talking to him, and then you see he starts counting, you know, counting out a bunch of you know money, and he hands it to him and he tells him to do something, and out the door the guy kind of stumbles out the door, and away he goes. It's breakfast. He's already half drunk. He he, he would go off. Of, he would say at least one cocktail. Devin yelled out, "Bring me back two of the beef ones." Cocksucker. Cocksucker. Bring me back two beef can ones. A, can I have a chicken and a beef? Well, and then, a chicken and a beef. Devin, as he goes out the door with a thousand dollars worth of. Hey, Marv. Can, can you imagine a thousand dollars worth of tacos? Uh, that sounds good. We call that <laughs> afternoon. Marv, you've had Jack in the Box, yeah? Oh yeah. 
We we had a drunken night back in college when we went to Jack in the Box about three in the morning and ordered two hundred dollars in tacos. What? Did you really? <laughs> you get two. I guess I've never been to a Jack in a Box. And that's back when they were two for a dollar. I thought it was a burger joint. You had four hundred tacos. Four hundred tacos. <laughs> They were not happy. I mean, off for those guys. We, we gave I mean, them it's a, like two in the morning. And you got to cook four hundred tacos. We gave them a really nice tip, though. I uh, hope so. And, and how so, many of these tacos actually got eaten? Almost all of them. Damn. Uh, that was when we uh, we had a thing called the munchies. So. <laughs> oh, I'm hmm, familiar. J. Rob, what you start asking me something? Or were you just telling me to look at the lady over here in Discord? <laughs> I was going to ask you if you could perhaps find a lady in BC like that to join our little group. <laughs> she looks jolly. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was that one. Uh, <laughs> hey then. You know, she looks like a turtle. She kind of does. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of them a... turtles that uses its tongue just... to catch bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the turtle, it looks like it's it's got this thing that you know attracts fish and other things, and when they come to you know check it out, snap. She's <sighs> a lure turtle? A lure turtle? A lure. <laughs> She's a lantern fish. Drake, lantern. Is, she lure, is she luring you right now? <laughs> she, she is a little bit. I, I bet she could cook the shit out of a meatloaf. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's... Okay. It's one of those nights. It is one of those nights, and that's fine with me. I needed to laugh, man. It's uh, It's been a hectic week here uh <laughs> but the, the lady laughing up there was just i'm trying to th- see what the hell that is is walks <laughs> walks by behind her you know is that somebody in a like a taco tuesday costume or what the fuck is that no it's the guy from cannonball run what was his name that was in mash clinger it looks like the oh, sh- yeah. sh- the, sh- the guy in Cannibal oh. Run. Yeah. The, sh- the Sheik. Yeah, that's I'm the it. Sheik. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, sure, what possibly could be that funny, though? Look where she lives. Can't be that funny. She's yeah. probably from Florida. Probably yeah. from Florida. Right her face yeah. there. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's the dry cleaner right down the street. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, all right, so uh, where where are you going to... I mean, you're getting ready to leave town, uh, Albert. What, what do you tell... What do you tell Mr. Wu? Willie Longtail. Uh- just uh, you know, keep an keep it near to the ground in case you know if he hears any rumors or anything like that. Uh, basically, I just kind of want him to uh, like spy around, you know, make maybe make some friends, some allies, or something like that. Contact. In case shit. Yeah. All right. So you guys actually meet with uh, this other one of the explorers. Her name is Alice. And she has breakfast down here. And she says, well, if you'd like, uh, she said, I happen to know a captain and, and a crew that happens to be in town right now. Are they for her? Well, he was just complaining about uh, about his uh, previous employer. He uh, operated for, uh, he uh, operated a vessel for, <laughs> what the? Timmons. Add me. It was the the egg. Did you have those tacos on Tuesday again? They can leave it. Anyway, he hired. A, you know, he run a salvage boat around here. He knows the maze pretty well. How do you feel about piloting a vessel that? Is notoriously belongs to a really bad person, and we stole it. 
I believe that we found it unoccupied. So you're going to go down and talk corpses. to this guy? Okay, now Brad came up with an idea, and I thought it was brilliant. So, you guys need eight, a crew of eight. And you say you want a crew of eight that does not include you, right? You don't want to be piloting this boat. You want somebody else to pilot it for you. Uh, so, you... I'm thinking eight plus a captain plus a shipwright. So, ten. Ten. Okay. Unless eight is counted in on the captain. Eight, ten. That would be, if you if you got ten people, uh, well, don't forget, um, Rob Conway's wife and son's going to be on the ship, too. She's cooking for you. Remember? Yes, sir. Unless she likes her new job better. Uh, Rob Conway does have a big Clyde. Be careful. Got the tooth big. Well, I hire money didn't cook. Do what, Tamins? Do you want to chop salami or take it? That's the question. Chop salami? I want to so know where to find the eleven then, banana. Ten, eleven then, and a kid. Eleven and a kid. Do we have room for all that? And eleven, ten horses, a wagon, and our fat asses. Two wagons. It's a big ship. It was Two big wagons. Oh well. Doctor, I'll probably just sleep down in the engine room. Doctor King Schultz wagon <clears throat> kind of folds up. Appers does it though. It's like paper mache or something. I don't know. I know he Big blows ship. it up in the middle of the movie, and it's like awesome. So it's kind of what I'm hoping happens with this one. Yeah, he did blow that wagon up. I just watched that a couple weeks ago. Thanks to J-Rob bringing in King Schultz. <laughs> Stupid hats. Who who cut the holes in these hats? Yeah. Well, see if I do anything, my wife does anything for you again. Classic. Classic. Okay, so it looks like it takes eight crew and can have room for ten more. Yeah. Uh, by the and way, J. Rob. Cargo is our horses and wagons. Did you, are you still, are you still look, reading through all the edges and stuff? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. I've been mostly quiet. So he thought, uh, Brad said, you know, what if we each kind of uh, created our own character? Now, they're not wild cards. They're just, these are just sailors or whatever. But I got thinking about that, Brad. The problem with it is, is you can't, you can't share a player character as an ally and you can't create an npc on your own you see what i'm saying i was thinking we could just come up with well, names and general ideas about them and then you could do all the npc stuff okay well what we need to do is pick eight sailors make them all whatever equal and then we just name them different is all and then if we want to add special quirks to them later we can or something but well, Maybe change up their hindrances so they're not all the same. Right, exactly. Well, they should. Yeah, they should kind of have the base outlying NPC, and then we can tweak them from there. Yeah. Can you tweak the NPCs once they're on your sheet? Well, the we players can. probably can't, but the DM would have to do it. Yeah, you just tell me what to do. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's find some sailor. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go down in the morning and talk to this this captain that the uh, that Alice has recommended. It's down at the docks. We need to check on our barge and shit, anyways. Start getting supplies loaded. How much supplies are we hauling back to freaking M Ranch? Oh, he probably gave you a whole list of stuff. Probably doesn't take but a fraction of what this barge will haul. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll uh, we'll have each of you guys controlling one of these sailors once we get these things put together. 
Uh, it's probably, I'm going to say by the time breakfast is done, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, you guys head down there. Uh, you talk to the captain that she's, uh, that she's recommended you find him, but it's probably noon by the time you handle all this stuff. Um, another hour or two to go by the bank if you had to do any of that stuff. Did you want to go see Big Ears Tam? Yeah, probably. Well, maybe, well maybe. We, maybe we could have uh, stopped by on the way to the docks and request dinner with him. I mean, it's big ears tan. We should get cleaned up and yeah, put a suit on stuff. So you make it to the gate to his uh, compound, and you leave word that you guys are in town at uh, the Sunrise House. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hypothetically, and we request dinner. The Sunrise House is that owned by white people or Chinamen? owned by white people. Maybe we could should buy that. You could probably buy the Sunrise House. Maybe if uh, people, if others wouldn't mind, maybe we could do that. I don't care. You could start negotiation. Yeah, might as well since we're there. See if fuck it, because Albert. Uh, is uh, basically he's going to try and turn this into a um, uh, house of ill repute, but also with the uh, yes, but also with the working ladies, if you get to what I mean. Uh, so there's actually uh, an abandoned building next door to this one. You know how these buildings are built side by side. You know, like like they share a common wall between them. the one next door to it is is probably half the size of this one and it looks like at one time it was probably a warehouse or something the windows are knocked out there's boards that have been boarded up on it but some of the boards have been broken off looks like it could use some tlc uh so i mean you could get two properties side by side here and you know knock down the wall and uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that could be something fun to do Emmons might consider buying the other building to make it a the Devil's Posse Detective Agency. And Taco Emporium. It's Taco Emporium. Yes. And, <laughs> Taco, nice and, and only have a stand out front on Tuesdays. For tacos. Yeah, no sharing the rest of the days. So what do you offer uh, the owner of the Sunrise House? Uh, first, I'd ask them if they're looking to sell and uh, what kind of price they would want. Everything's got a price. I hadn't really had any intention of selling, though. How much did you pay for the place? I believe that's irrelevant. Well, not really, because, you know, assessments and property tax values and, you know, a judge of what it might go for these days. You trying to Jenthro, you trying to get their address here? Sunrise House, Shan Fan. <laughs> I'm sure Timmons isn't doing very well on his persuasion. Uh, you know. Uh so what are you offering a guy? Uh, 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 hmm. uh, Albert looks at you and says, shut the fuck up, Timmons. <laughs> uh, see, I make 500 a year. How about 200? And once it's up and running, he has a lifetime uh, uh, supply of, um, of women, if, if you will. He can come in whenever he wants. Well, this is one of the cleaner establishments, and you know that uh, the man does seem a little pious. He might not, uh, you know, that might not be his thing, but it might. You never. Do you have Do you have your problem with your wife working? 
Well, if nothing else, you can at least come in for a few few free drinks from time to time. Exactly. <laughs> that's how Timmons, <laughs> that's how Timmons' big mouth <laughs> hindrance falls open right there. <laughs> did you just offer him two hundred thousand? By the way, I did. Yes. He tells Timmons you. That's right. So come he leaves. He gets up. Good lord, Mister Swearingen. I believe you got yourself a deal. And he stands up and shakes your hand. He says, uh, I'll have the papers drawn up, but uh, there is the matter of, you know, obtaining uh, permission for the transfer. Permission from who? Cam, I imagine. Well, who else would it be? Of course, from Mr. Tam. Very well. Uh, what's, what do we need to do? Just go down and ask him very nicely? How did you get your permission? I've been here a long time. He tells you. He says, I've been here almost eight years. I remember when the Chinese came from San Francisco and the wreck of San Francisco and started rebuilding here. At the time, I was I was outside of where they were building. He said they kind of built up around me. He said I was here already. Well, fortunately, we already know kind of know Tam. So, Starkus is 1879. Yeah, uh, Albert would. I don't think. Yeah, he hasn't met Tam since I joined up with y'all later. No, but you would have definitely heard the name being here in Shanfan. Right. We meet with Big Iz later on, hopefully. <laughs> we can take that paperwork with us. So, it gets the permission from Big Ears Tim. Uh, very well. With that much money changing hands, you got permission, trust me. Uh, we might have lost him. Lost who? Engorgio. Engorgio. He's flickering. There, there, there he is. is. He's, He's coming. back. Somebody turn the microwave on. There we go. I lost connection for a second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I left off saying uh, go and talk to uh, Mr. Tam and get his permission, and then everything will be gravy, possibly. And who wants the villa next door? The the dilapidated one. He said. Uh, he tells you, uh, I would say that Mr. Tam probably owns that. I don't think it's had an owner. Oh, since the since the break in and vandalism here about six years ago or so. So do me a favor, Albert. When we talk to Mr. Tan, let me ask him if I can buy the dilapidated one first before you tell him what you paid for the other side. Absolutely. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. It's okay with the with the women that will be coming in. Uh, no problem make that. They, right some back. of the women well, might need a detective agency. I just foresee it. Well, great. Given that Timmons has a big mouth, he's likely to spout it out before Albert can get a chance. This is true. However, you got to roll the dice, and we got a huckster that can help us out. Uh, I make deals with girls, not play cards. <laughs> play the cards. You don't fling cards? I haven't seen you throwing a card? Yeah. Uh, you see him messing with decks, but the cards you see him throw in aren't physical cards. They seem to be energy that coalesce from them. In the shape of a card, though, right? Technically, uh, yes. Albert used to be able to do that. Uh-huh. <laughs> he used to be able to do it? What would it? You run out of juice? Uh, yeah. I may have 
concoction that can help that. He got he got bored. It was you know beneath him, I, so he moved on to bigger and better things. Some hair tonic. <laughs> Is my uh, hair falling out? Give me a survival roll at plus two. Uh, Who? Fang. Doc Fang. Survival at a plus two. Six. Yep, Nine. you're you are able to locate and obtain the ingredients you were looking for on this day. Okay, who else asked me something? By the way, what's Little Beaver doing through all this to hate the city? He is standing quietly in the background while these white men do their thing. Okay. He just kind of hanging out over in the corner. Yeah. Willem Dafoe. That guy freaks me out. I love him. He's a great actor. Yeah. Dafoe! Dafoe! Okay. Uh, the day comes and goes, and uh, you guys eventually end up back at the Sunrise House. You find a letter waiting for you, Timmons. And it says, at this time, unfortunately, Mr. Tam is unable to meet with you. He has prior engagements. So sorry, fuck off. So sorry, fuck off. Cocksucker. Cocksucker, yeah. Fuck off. He already heard about the 200,000. Now, He's done with no, that's all been discussed today, and uh, it was also, I mean, the owner of the place said that he would sell as long as you got the blessing of Tam. He definitely didn't want to make an enemy. Ah, uh, Tam likes us, I think. He did, but we haven't exactly done what he asked us to either. Oh, maybe we if Mr. Maybe, maybe if Mr. Wu comes back around, I could... Uh, ask him to keep an ear out. Okay, you could do that. Well, I mean, we really could just like grab somebody, you know, one of his generals there, beat him up, and make it look like it's him, and hand him over real quick. <laughs> one of his. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. Big ear Tim has how many tongs? Well, how many tongs does he have? Himself, he's probably oh, got boy. several hundred. And then his, uh, as you said, his generals, the big brothers, they each, you know, they might have yeah. anywhere from 20 to 50 or 60 apiece. So does Warlord Quan have like a symbol they go by? I mean, could you ID a Warlord Quan's guy by walking down the street? Probably not. It's not like they, you know, they... See, and Long Noodles already hates us, and he's down by, like, 12 guys. So, thin so what noodles? are you saying? You want to go finish them off with yeah, something? Thin noodles. Find the rest well, of the if, camp? We just know? turn them over. I mean, we were the ones lying to him and telling him the people were out to get him. So this we're just going to blame, blame the tongue that may or may not be the one working with Warlord Quan. Wait, we're blaming the thong? The thong? I, what, are you making fun of my list? <laughs> this Tom Timmons? Yes, yes I am. The thong? Did you say the thong? That, that's yeah. not very funny for someone's tongue that's just about to rot off. Look at that thing. <laughs> it's intact. like the inside of a Cracker Jack box. <laughs> oh, God! You know, he has a point, Mr. Hexman. Um, you could use a little dental work. Ooh, maybe a bridge. <laughs> Good thing we have a dentist. I thought I was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Is he smiling? Uh, Mr. Hexman, uh, 
uh, permit me to ask you, did you um did you acquire this this situation from using your mouth at the local brothel, perhaps? Ah, uh, screw <laughs> you, doctor. I mean, are you are you looking for a job? It, it's unwise to, you know, nibble on unwashed vagina. Just saying. Oh my god. That's a new way of saying, did you go harrowed? No. Yeah, they, 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 they kind of like blood them. wings. <laughs> well, Jeb, going here. Jeb, you get to thinking about this. And you can remember that night, and you were down on that, and all there's like a piece of corn, and you thought, "What the hell?" And oh, God. you you got back down there and on it again. Pretty, 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 there's like a green piece of a green bean. And you, you looked up and you said, "Bitch, are you sick or something?" She goes, "No," but the guy before you was. Oh. Ooh. That's kind of be a lima bean. It's always a lima bean. It's a oh. lima bean. That's a- that's a nasty uh, that's a nasty baby. <laughs> that's so that, that's so nasty, I'll tell you what, that nasty baby. That's quite right. <laughs> Must be related to uh sandpaper Sally. Yes. <laughs> well, well that's much better. What did you do? <laughs> Picked off the scabs. A oh, crab meat candy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess uh, we gotta buy some ghost rock too. How do we buy ghost rock? You just pick up a bushel of it? No, no they, they sell it down. They were yeah. mining it in tradition, aren't they? You well, send HT out, find it, and mine it. Well, H, uh, per, I mean, perdition is a is collection station thirty seven, I think. So it's an ore collection station for. It's like where the Rockies. You know, there's there's probably a Rockies agent down here at the. But there was enough to get you to Los Angeles anyway, back to Perdition. Docking in Los Angeles might be fun for you guys. Let's take a 10 minute break. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll do, do that. Uh, we'll be back at 52. Start the timer. Come over here. All right, we'll be right back. We'll be right back, everybody. Stick around. Turn some music on for you.
We're back. Hello, Beck. Nobody here but us chicken shits. <laughs> okay. Cocksuckers. <laughs> Cocksuckers. Cool. Where were we? And I have Mr. Wu now. Yep, Mr. Wu's out with his ear to the ground trying to find some uh, trying to find some uh, uh, information. By the way, did I give let's see Mr. Wu Uh, I forgot to doctor him up. He has no code of honor. He does know some martial arts. Um, and I want him to have this. He would definitely have Streetwise for Shan Fan anyway. Now, are you giving him martial arts just because he's Chinese? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got to be able to defend himself. Sad. The image for Mr. Wood is not popular. Streetwise. Uh, <clears throat> plus two to intimidation or persuasion rolls. Really? <laughs> plus two to common knowledge. That's an edge. That is not a... Didn't I make a skill called Streetwise? Tell you what, I am going to yes. take trademark yeah. weapon for Little Beaver. Oh, yeah? yeah What's the trademark cool. weapon? His bow. Well... I was. I thought it might be his melee weapon. What the infamous war club? Feature sure. smasher. Did he do something with that last week that I don't know about? Oh, miss. That's all he did was miss because he was on horseback. Ah, okay. But it was he, uh... he murderized the one guy who was uh. Oh, that's found. true. Trample a guy in the horse, too. With the horse. Trample, trample, remember? <laughs> okay, Little Beaver's taking what now? Trademark weapon. Trademark weapon, yeah. Uh, Marv, actually, if you unlock it, anyone who has one of these, if you unlock it, you can actually just add the edge or so. Can you? Because I just did. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, if it's unlocked? Yeah. You can unlock. I can unlock it, lock it myself, and add it. Sweet. Now, uh, copy. how do you figure out how to do like the modifier? Do you have to manually do that, or do you, can you set that up to to do it automatically? You right click. If you right click on um, the attack yeah. card, yeah, there'll be like a, a attack modifier or something. You can add a plus one to like the a, attack. Like a plus minus button. Yeah. So it's in. It would be. Uh, let's do this. Over. He also gets a plus parry to it, too. Yeah, you have to do the same for while that. Wield, while wielding it. What is the weapon? Oh, I was going with bow, but they mentioned the war club, so... I mean, you can go with whatever. What do you guys think? What what stands out more with Little Beaver? Is it a bow and arrow, or is it a, the War Club at this point? I, I think it's the War Club, to be honest. I, I don't think he should be using his War Club because guy. HG. I, I'm just... <laughs> I was just thinking that time when you were fighting that big guy. No, do you it. Can join me in stay the away. Just stay away. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he did, he did take the War Club from that... Uh, that might be that, metagaming, though, a little. Happy. That rather large Indian chief, uh, or Indian warrior, not chief. That's true. I thought it was a good combat. It could be the, uh, it could be the, uh, like the, the pelvic blade from one of your victims that you were hunting out there on Big M Ranch. 
Ooh, do we have? Do I have that? Because oh, uh, I don't know. I'm just thinking. You know, just think something up. Like... <laughs> yeah, that's well. That's the way I that. think of taking an edge. Is it's kind of something that your character's been working towards, anyways. Yeah. You know, should be. so. Yeah, you could have found this pelvic bone. Now that you're in Shan Fan, you get it finally made into a war club or something. That would be cool. Okay. Fuck it, let's go with that. A, or the Still bow. Be, okay. I'm I got a set of rib cage. It's, it's a bow. I'm not, I'm not that complicated with this stuff. Little Beaver doesn't have to be that complicated, does he? Simplistic. That's right. He stands in the back. Simplicity. All right. Well, Tim and, uh, it, it, Tim and is not simple. Think that's so simple about Timmons. Timmons is pretty simple. Timmons is pretty simple. <laughs> no offense. So I'm the most educated fella in my family. Albert, I want you to uh have Mr. Wu give a streetwise role. Okay, what exactly were you wanting him to, you said, you know, go out and just, is there anything specific? Uh, no, just like since um, he uh, we would have told him about the uh, the Tong, uh, try to find out kind of like who. Uh, Thin Noodles Ma. Uh, Thin Noodles Ma. Thin Noodles Ma. Thin Noodles Ma is... Uh, one of Tam's uh, underlings, one of the big brothers, and he, you know, it's it's kind of like a, he's a made man, you know, he's got a army of soldiers and whatnot. But uh, had so he comes back and he tells you, Swidgen, cocksucker, gone, gone. Cocksucker gone. Cocksucker done. Uh, no, he does speak English, uh, a little bit of English, and he tells you that... Uh, What's in English? Thin Noodle's ma, uh, he's, he's gone. He's not Shen Fen. Cocksucker. So Cocksucker is gone. He's not in Shen Fen. Thin noodles small. Wait, isn't Wu Chinese? Shouldn't he be speaking Chinese to these folks? What? He's talking to Albert. Oh. Yeah. Albert does not speak Chinese. Albert does not very uh does not really care for Chinese. It uh, uh, must be the, the Manitou Manitou must be trying to take you over or something, Jeb. Did you not are you not paying attention? Halfway. Halfway? Uh, we'll see how the Manitou's doing with you in a little bit. Okay, so anything else in Shan Fan? Mm, let's leave this place. Uh, so we got we got restock for the M Ranch. We got uh, livery paid up. We got banking done. And... The only thing we didn't do is talk to Tam about your property. That is correct. I think we were you were also wanting wanting to question Tam about something or another. Oh, well, we were just gonna tell him that we haven't finished his job yet, but we're still working on it. Well, we did find out who the connection was. The connection? Did you? Yeah, I was yeah. looking. Yeah, sorry, what sorry. are you talking about? Connection, now, but what... uh, it says Barrier Tam feels that one of his tongs is working with Warlord Quan. If you could make the connection and find out who it is, he would wipe your restitution debt for burning down one third of the neighborhood. And if it's the Noodles Mall, which was the one that we attacked in the first place, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 
Okay, maybe I'm confused. No, you're you've got it right. You don't you haven't made a connection. All you know is he's not in town right now. He's he's not Shen Fan. Cocksucker. Okay. Keep a shame. He dishonored. Now see had you had a, a raise on that roll? Yeah. But I do not. But you did not. All right, so you guys set off. Uh, Captain. Captain. What's the captain's name? Gray mm. Sales? Richard P. That's what's Richard the... No, he's, uh, he's a guy from Gilligan's Isle. Uh, Skipper? Skipper? Skipper. Yes, <laughs> Skipper. And all the crew look like Gilligan. Oh, God. Except they're Chinese. <laughs> they're just really tall Chinese guys. No, actually, the the crew is split. Um, there are Chinese. There are uh, Caucasians. They're, you know, it's, it's a mixed crew. Um, well, there we go. There's the crew. We got the professor. We got... And Marianne. So, Marianne, we got Gilligan, we got Marianne the, the wonderful laugh up here. Up and we all can I can play, <laughs> I can play this in hell. How dare you tell me to swap the deck? I will not swap the deck. Uh, all right, so somebody give me a D twenty. Damn. On the draw, Albert. Albert on the draw. Uh, you guys make it back to the Big M Ranch without issue. Damn, I gotta buy Gilligan's Island now. <laughs> Deliver him his goods, I guess. What are you gonna do? You gonna put the uh, you gonna put the crew to work retrofitting this ship, and you guys are taking off in the tugboat for uh, where? Los Angeles. Uh, the tug is not well. Shit. So you gotta get you've gotta get to perdition. It is now. And here, let me update the calendar while I'm thinking of it. So you guys one, two. There it's Tuesday. You spent that day. Bop bop. It's Friday. We gotta go. Can we get there within a day? Or not? Uh, yeah, we're pretty close. You gotta be there by what? Eleven o'clock tomorrow? Uh, noon is when the meeting is, I think. Isn't noon? It? I thought that's what it said. I think we should be able to make make that. Is that last at noon? Saturday at high noon. Yeah, I mean, you, let's say you get here at midday on Friday. You got a half a day, and then a half a day to travel. So. Yeah, you're not pushing a barge. I mean, if you could just motor ride on through. Well, can we take the ship and put the ghost rock to work? How fast would that be? You could, but I don't know it'd be a good idea to pull that ship into Lost Angels now. <laughs> well, we might be able to get in easily. Just put a scarecrow on the bow that looks like Agatha, Sister Agatha was with a wave in her arm. Eat her, eat her. Uh, so you deliver your supplies to Dwight Shelton. Uh, his he's you know tells his brother and his nephews that he looks forward to their return. Um, you know, let him know when they plan to arrive, and he'll see what he can do about getting some cow hands and some people to get all those thousand head of cattle out here to this island. to the big M. Um, and we will say it is twelve PM on Friday. You get here and they tell you that there's been just some kind of kind of freaky things happening. 
creepy stuff. Where are we? At the big M? At the big M. Okay. What kind of creepy stuff? Well, Dwight tells you that the missus and his little ones have been having terrible nightmares. And uh, when... little Susie's little Susie's dolls were all in, you know, little Tommy's bedroom or Benjamin's bedroom, and Benjamin's, uh, you know, his top and his, uh, you know, ball and all that stuff was found in her room, like, you know, the stuff was stuff was being moved around the house. That seems highly unusual. Well, it's a shame Father Miguel is no longer with us. I have a feeling he could have taken care of this. The corral was left open. Door on the corral was left open. The, uh, the goats got out. Can't have goats around cattle. Cattle won't eat where the goats have been. That's what he tells you. Wait, is that a thing? No, I don't know. I know that cattle and cattle don't like to eat where the sheep have been. Filthy fuckers. That's a bit of information yeah, yeah, that I'm not sure I would have retained. Very. It sounds uh, quite unusual. Very. I'm thinking ghost. Holford guys. Perhaps a, perhaps a relative of yours, Jeb. Just a little less solid. Hmm. Out of character, maybe it's Vivian. Yeah. Jeb Hector, what do you know about that? Wild West uh, Ghost Friend. World. What do I know about what? The spirit world. What do you know of the afterlife? Uh, I'm curious. I'm living it. <laughs> Most interesting. Most interesting. And with that, he'll pull out a, a finger off of the arm in his backpack and start just munching on it. Most curious. Are you what they refer to as I think a, it's a Twinkie? Um, I'm not sober enough for this shit. <laughs> I didn't quite hear all of that, uh, Doctor. Uh, are you what they uh, in the literary world refer to as a, a zombie? Perhaps you could tell us what. what... I, I don't think I'm a zombie because. Aren't zombies normally like mindless? And I, I assume at some point you could go all on the. <laughs> I'm, I'm a cautious man. I need to know. Exactly. Stephen. And Hexman and, and Schultz takes like three steps back. It's that thing right there that I, it concerns me. So I need some assurance that, uh, you know, you know, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just playing with you. I'm teasing. Whew. I thought the next thing out of your mouth was going to be brains. I, brains. No, the liver is much tastier. What, Vino? Sorry. The, the liver is much tastier. Oh, God. <laughs> I have liver is pretty good. I got some fava beans. I have some bacon. <laughs> nice Chianti. You want you want to take you want to take some? Uh... Oh yes, yes. The Chianti is very nice at uh, at a uh, more of a fireplace at night. Cold wind outside. Keep your belly really warm. Yes, indeed. Big Amory. All right, so we investigate. What's we we set booby traps up? I think of a whore out out of character. I think of a whore every time we call it the Big M. I think of a whore. Just gonna say it. Sorry, can't help it. Well, that's Done. part of the adventure. I didn't I didn't name the place Big M. Maybe because I knew a whore named Big M. I don't know. <laughs> that's on Shane Lacey Hensley right that there. Be it. That could be why it brings up those memories. Uh, what do you mean you're going to investigate? I mean, if you guys don't get to going, like, right away, you probably won't make perdition by noon tomorrow. Yeah, so perhaps we should hurry, and could you make sure everything's okay? I look okay under the kid's bed, 
Timmons looks under the kid's bed and said, they know Martha's under here. You're good to go. And then we leave. What do I know about this And while I'm looking around? I also rolled a cult because I wanted to be like Jeb. You guys don't get, looks under the bed. Don't get anything. It's, you know, story about bad dreams and kids, but, but you, you would both probably suspect a poltergeist. Just I mean, in case. You know, a cult rolls. Some of this. If you yeah. boil some of this into tea and drink it before bed, it should help with the dreams. Oh, and shit. now I'm looking around very oh. well. Holy shit! It's going. What go. the? Holy fuck. Fuck. All right, that you one's see, been You see the players beyond the game with that roll. I see the fourth wall and beyond. Yeah, the key uh, I can't. I can't believe that. That was incredible. <laughs> That was incredible. Holy shit. 48, if if you can't see that, chat, He rolled a 48. Four is a success, so... Yeah, they can see that right there. I mean, it was exploding and exploding I and exploding. Or... Yeah, so... No, no, no. He's talking to... Don't think about Stay Puff Marshall, man, or we're in trouble. What did you do, Ray? If somebody asks you if you're a god, say yes! Uh, Venno, with that, um, do you feel that there is, there's a connection to something in this house that the living would never understand? And the eyes of the ranger are upon you. No, that, that's down in Texas. We're, <laughs> we're not there yet. Yeah, and, oh. and to be honest, I, I'd rather not run into any rangers, thank you. Jim Hexman, did he come from uh, Texas or something? He was a lawman at some point. Law dog. Kansas. So he, well, he, Bloody he, Kansas. He was born lawman. in West. Yes. He was born in West Texas, though. That's right. His daddy's a Texas marshal. No, he he was also a sheriff of a small town in Texas. His name was uh, uh, Marshal Dusty Bottoms. <laughs> Dusty, no. Dusty Rhodes. Malcona, baby. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Brad. That was a good one. Could you please tell oh, your Chinese right. friend there to take it outside? Here, here, Timmons cups his hands. Here, take that outside. Go ahead, our, our, our celestial friend. His ways are not our ways. It is simply a matter of culture. I, I, I beg your forgiveness. Culture. Well, we'll let it go this time, but Lord of mercy, take it outside, would you? Um, you could tell your, uh, your crew there that they got... You know, free reign on what they need out of the out of the stockpile of lumber down there. If we need the mill fired up to resaw something, we'll let me know. And there's, I mean, piles of oak and stuff. And they typically run this, cut logs up at least once a month. You know, uh, so there's quite a stockpile of lumber down here. But a lot of fence posts, things like that. So our uh, expansion's going to be made with fence posts? <laughs> no, no, there's plenty of plenty of oak, plenty of oak, plenty of pine. Um, but uh, he tells you to, you know, that's fine. They can have, but, you know, have them camp down there by the, they can all sleep down there in the, in the mill. They can stay on the ship. Or they can stay on the ship either way, yeah. Now. There's the question of going through the maze at night because you know if you left right now you'd have to travel through the night to get to Perdition by noon tomorrow. What's Do the you, fastest vehicle we got? The, the tug. The tug's the fastest vehicle you got, but um, you also have a captain that knows this maze pretty well. What's going on? Something going on, Drake? Oh, what a... Alexa, stop. <laughs> what was it playing? What's I the fact? She's all talking. Well, she probably said, looking at me and shit. 
She's like, bitch, and you ever, you've been online too long. You need to get up and straight. I don't know what the hell she was talking about. <laughs> She's probably telling you what I'm the fastest you boat was. Probably. Captain, how fast do you think it would take to get there? Oh, he tells you that he could get you there through the night, you know, pending no unforeseen circumstances, weather, anything like that. I heard that once HG made people able to see in the dark, perhaps he's able to do that for the crew. What? I don't need your mumbo jumbo. It's no, no, no. It, it's science. Gizmo. No, no, it's science. You just drink a little something and, you know, you get a buzz and you can see in the dark. She blinded me. Right, HG? Science. Well, what? <laughs> science! Isn't that a different kind of religion? Different kind of science in general. Yeah, so weren't you guys taking the tugboat anyway? I mean, you're having a ship worked on, right? Right. Yeah, we're not taking the ship, we're taking the tug, so we're not bringing the yeah. captain, we're bringing Timmons and Albert. We both can... Yeah. Timmons and I Albert... we were going to bring right. the captain or, or the navigator. And Timmons will drink something if he can see in the dark. He's all about... Have, have that... <laughs> You, you know Albert's going to drink. And Albert's like, is it in a shot class? <laughs> Pretty much. So, yeah, we get on the... Ah! Ah. You turn that up, too. <laughs> nice. It's Jingo. Oh, good lord. Yeah, I didn't mean to have it that loud, but that was really loud on the... Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. <laughs> How's the old ticker, Marb? Uh, let me go mess with my voice meter banana over here. Cause, God bless America. You go fix your, fix, check your pants. Wow. Uh, thank you, Django. Uh, well, you got, isn't he normally doing Deadlands on Thursdays? Yeah. What's the deal there? I think you're done a little early, maybe. Oh. I didn't see him running. I wasn't really paying attention either. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, so, yeah, you guys go down to the tugboat. I guess you take off, get ready to go, do your thing. Yeah. Um. Are we taking any horses? No, we don't need horses, do we? I think we were going to go by horse from... How far is it from City of Los Angeles out to Perdition? Do we need horses? It's so a half a day's or? half a day's ride, or walk. I mean, you could walk it. A it was half a day. Walk it. Yeah, a little bit longer to walk it, maybe. Yeah, I don't think we need to deal with horses then. I think we just sneak the tug in. We're gonna try to sneak in under the radar too in this tug. So if we need to throw some, you know, disguise on it or something. All make right. It look like a different kind of. Tug. So, so we'll do this. So the captain that you've hired, he breaks out, gets out this big old scroll case, and he starts un unrolling some maps and charts. And he tells you now, you can get in right here in this channel if it's high tide, but at low tide you got to go all the way down to the west channel and go in from there. And he kind of plots, kind of shows you where you're going since you've never really driven a tug down to that part of the maze before. Because I mean it's. It's nasty. He says, look, just stay in the main channel. And when you get to this place right here, blah, blah, blah. So you guys think you got it. And if that's it, uh, off you go, I reckon. Yeah, we, uh, we get any ammo we need for the tug, too. Uh, what? Cannon, 12 pound cannons, and Gatling gun ammo. Oh, yeah, she's uh, she's fully outfitted. Now, I don't know how this works, but uh, so you guys take off. We'll say it's now one o'clock, and you know that you need to kind of get there by sunrise. Oh, toothache. Ow. Did you want me to put any leaves and branches on the outside for camouflage? <laughs> Look like a big uh, 
Are big we, old are we trying to hide in the bushes? Or? Ghost rock smoke coming up out of the top of this big pile of brush as it drifts what? down. <laughs> we, we well, that's had, highly unusual, but it is the maze. I'll let it go. It's a we just it's a bush. It's a, we're just a big bush. That's all we are in the middle of the maze. All right, the burning so, bush. So you guys. All right, we're going to try to figure something out. Benno, you said you know how to do this. It's been a couple of months. We're going to try something, okay? Okay. With what vehicles? With vehicles. Okay. With vehicles. So, prior to tonight's session, on all of your vehicle tabs, if you look at your inventory tab and then the vehicle sub-tab on inventory, you should have a tugboat on there. Now, Timmons will be operating the thing. Albert's going to be helping him through the dark the night i guess yes sir high on opiates you know what jingo you know sometimes toothache Oops. sometimes Wrong a toothache's button. a good thing <laughs> or a bad thing depends on how you look at that well the cannons work boom in the middle of the night well now they know where we are yes. i was just doing that for science to make sure the button worked Right now, science. <laughs> blinded me with science. Um, so you guys are kind of chugging along here, and I'm not sure. I guess I have to have a tugboat on the map, but the question is, whose tugboat? Would it be Timmons' tugboat? For what purpose? For a combat encounter. Yes. Well, that would probably that's make sense. Thing, yeah, that's Dr. the one thing we didn't really test. Dark Fang, you gave away our position. <laughs> that wasn't real. I think he was just clicking to click on it, not to that, actually. That was me testing to make sure Marv didn't screw it up. Okay. No, I just. Well, the cannons work. <laughs> that's all. So, this is the tugboat that came out of. Uh, let's see. We don't have a map, by the way. Well, I'm getting there, buddy. Okay. All right. <laughs> Wasn't trying to rush you, but it just seemed like you were going off a map that we didn't have. Tug the tug. <laughs> Quick tug. Yeah, so there's uh, – ten... now, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to fire from that or not, but what you see – and I'm just going to go ahead and show everything down here. What the hell? Ooh, show everything. Uh, oh, that's the wrong tugboat. Wrong tugboat. Hang on. Yeah. Well, look at there. <laughs> it's so long and yeah. it's shrinking and charging, <laughs> pulsating. I'll tug it's that. Pulsating. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you're supposed to stack tokens. Remember. And I think that's what you just did. No, I didn't stack tokens. Just look like you But did. I've got to find Timmons' big, uh, big M tugboat. There it is. So this is the big M tugboat here. And what you guys see, and it's just about sundown, you see a tugboat and a barge tied up out here. And... There's a couple of maze runners that look like they're circling them and firing at these guys with Gatlin guns. Okay. Yeah, it didn't do it. Well, I think I know why that would be. So. Let me do this. Yeah, all I did was target with the, the tug and double click. So now we should have a tugboat out there. So 
So what I'm going to do is leave your tokens up here at the top, right? And we're going to get through this thing this way. So if you want to do something with... You guys should all have access to the guns on the boat. If you want to, say, fire an arrow or a rifle or, you know, what have you. Is there not a grid on this map? Yes, there is. Yeah. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll move your token down there by the tugboat, and then you can go from there and array. Like you can say, I want to, I want to target the, you know, the, or you can decide that you don't want to get involved in this and just move right on down the channel. Your choice. Well, we should at least see what's going on. It. <laughs> I agree. Let's well, see what's going on. Are, are we going we... that direction? You're going this way. Yeah. So we're checking it out. Okay. Timothy, like. Tim is like, ding, ding. He rings a little bell. He says, oh, crew, we have company. Anybody got a spyglass? Yeah, uh, I think so. Does actually. my night vision count? It's uh, broad daylight outside. Well, it's not broad. It's it's evening. I just want to know it from this distance, because if you look the map, every square is actually three. Is it? Yeah, so that's... Uh, Ah, it is. Yep. Yeah, if you like half of it is like does one. Right. Like also, you could two of us are like set different spot. Mm -hmm. Uh, King Schultz, uh, that would definitely be Albert's with the uh, long one because he has to. <laughs> because he rolled an eight. Uh huh. No, so, I'm happy with. I'm it? happy with mine. Mine tilts up instead of <laughs> drooping down. Wasn't that the millimeter roll? Who's gonna be on the guns? Also, doesn't work this way. No shit. You can't. Yeah. You can't shoot from. Well. Oh wait, hold on. I was also using Doc Fong for some reason. What? Uh, you must have lag, because I can see where you tried to roll twice. No, the first one was the first time I attempted it. Oh, yeah? There it goes. So it worked? Yes. I just had to m m target it with my character. I'll okay. probably uh, click on it when I went to move uh, Doc Fong's token. Okay, so you guys can all give me notice rolls. At, at this distance, we're going to do it. A uh, notice roll at minus two. So just you can just roll, and I'll take the two off of. Balls. Hg. And Jeb. This looks like perhaps a salvage crew. This barge has a winch on it. And you can actually see a couple of divers in the water. And you can see people scrambling to get off the barge onto the tugboat where the guns are. And these look like probably pirates. I mean, you know, like one of them's got a patch, you got a peg leg, a parrot sitting on his shoulder. Finally, pirates. If we make friends, maybe we can see the parrot. I want the parrot. The parrot of oh, the pirate. Oh, it's my parrot. I want the parrot, and we'll name it Peaches. Oh my god, I've played that that uh, module. <laughs> yeah. If the parrot happens to die, I call dibs on it for a uh, fraud parrot. We don't, we don't speak of that module. I'm still upset about it. I might no, be able to use the peg leg for a club. That might be kind of cool. Holy fuck. Hey, maybe we can use it to open the portal into the, the cow uh, level. Good God, what the fuck? That's super loud. That's uh, Sirenscape. Turn your Sirenscape down. Oh, I did. I, I had it all the way up for the farts and then, yeah. 
you know what? I, I, I'd rather I'd rather not have uh, I'd rather not have the fight the fighting music and be able to hear the cannons and stuff, actually, and the rifles. Jesus. And the the sound is so out of balance. Well, good, good. I'm glad you guys got a little shocker out of that. Oh, my volume was down, so it wasn't very loud for me. Those loud sounds are so cool, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, I could say it's on my Oh, what are those pirate-looking ships over there? Timmins? Those are uh, pirate ships. Should I go and get one of the cannons, just in case? Um... I rolled a one for my notice, so Tim is like, there's, there's something over there? Oh, I thought HG and Jeb were like, hey, look over there. Well, you can yeah, hear the but... gun. I mean, you, at, at first you see some boats in the distance, which is nothing. I mean, you see ships, boats all over the place all the time out here. But you got this ghost rock motor churning behind you, and it's not until you get to about here when you can see like smoke coming out of the end of their guns on the, on these maze runners and you can see people scrambling and now you can start to hear gunfire over the, over your ghost rock motor. So let's, uh, Tim is first of all, before we, uh, draw cards to determine initiative here, what is it that you want to do with the tug? Fast that way. Go fast what? Go fast that way. Right at him, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, wait. How are these cannons mounted? Can we shoot? Or do we need to be starboard or port? Or can we fire they got, it? They uh, got uh, the Gatling guns are mounted on the front of it. The cannons on the side. Gatling guns mounted on the roof. And a bow and stern cannon are typical. There you go. Good enough. All right, so so we gotta we gotta we can get somebody on the cannon and two people on the Gatlins, and then the bow if somebody, I mean the stern if something gets behind us. So Tim is like, we going in. He gives it. <laughs> All right. So, um, let's then do this. I'm going to make a farsight potion. Okay. Oh, damn it. Well, damn it. I shouldn't have dealt for everybody. I should have just clicked the down arrow and been done with it. Okay, well, it rearranged everything. It puts Albert up the top. Uh, Albert's just holding his Winchester waiting for something to happen. Okay, a little too far out. Um, right. Let's just ask this. You guys want to... Um, who Who's on the Gatlin guns? You're probably a little far away from them. Yeah. So you've got the cannon. Who's got the cannon? I have the forward cannon. I've got. Right. I walked over to a cannon. So that fifty-six. That what's the what's the pace on the tugboat? Does it say? Top speed is ten. It says whatever that is. So fifty by five. That would be five rounds to get to that point right there. So, so right about there, six rounds you could get. And how long does it take to reload the cannon? Eight. Eight. Eight rounds. To re but, but I think multiple people can help right. reload and make it faster. That's what I was thinking. Okay. So six rounds to get right there, which should put you closer to the range you need to be. Uh, but you want to get right in on the action. 
if we get close enough, we could board them. Where do you want to be well, when I you think we should time it? How about we time it that we get to them in eight rounds, load the cannon as we go, and as soon as we're within range, we decide on who wants to get the first shot. Okay. Oh, we can, or I would imagine the cannons are probably already loaded. Well, I don't know. I mean, you wouldn't want to, you know, your powder, you got to keep your powder dry. I don't think you'd be true walking around with loaded cannons on your, your tugboat if you're going into port or leaving port and stuff like that. So you're going to take eight I rounds. You met our, our crew people. To get to where? Tell me, uh, point. Point to me a spot on the map where you want to get to and take eight rounds to do it. So the cannons, what are we doing? A solid shot with it? 50 yes. feet? Well, at 10 pace or 10 top speed or whatever, which I'm assuming it would be 10 That's eight inches. rounds right there. Yep. Yeah, so that would be 80 rounds. So by the time we get there, we could let, uh, let loose with a volley of cannons and uh, Gatlin guns. I think it'll put you in range. Okay. So. I'll move you guys here. We're going to go back to Albert now. Start at the top of the round. What are you doing, Albert? Are you working on getting the cannon loaded? Are you manning a... Uh... <sighs> I'll help her uh, start to load a cannon uh, just in case we decide to pick a fight with these people, which looks like we are. So, yes. No, we totally are. <laughs> so, yes, uh, uh, loading a cannon up. Well, he could lo help load the cannon up and then at the last yeah. round move up and get on a Gatlin if he wants, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I think basically what we did is we took the eight rounds to move up the 80 squares or whatever. And in that process, we loaded the cannons. We got all yes. our guns ready. You've got the cannon and both Gatlin guns. The Gatlin guns, you might have them loaded because they're loaded with, uh, uh, you know, r with ammunition rounds. Um, then yes. I'd, I'd, have a, I'd have a Gatlin gun, or manning a Gatlin gun then. How, okay. how many cannons do we have? You've got one facing them right now. One on the bow and one on the stern. Okay, so Albert, uh, I'm going to put you right here by the tug. Uh, pick your target. I guess you guys are going after. Are you helping out the pirates or are you? Uh... Um, I'm going after the pirates personally. We can't help out the pirates. We got to take down the pirates. Come on, we're good people. Yeah. Okay. So I'll show, maze run the maze runners are the pirates, right? Yep. So okay. uh, uh, they, they should be red now. Maze runner fifteen and fourteen. Oops. No. What the fuck? Uh, oh, um. Yeah, explain you, us, you know. All right, um, you have the vehicle window open for the. Yeah. All right, you see the little lock button. Click that. Go to your co go to the combat tab on that, and then grab your portrait from your uh, character sheet and drag it over into where it says uh, area under operator. And everybody needs to do that. Wait, what? Oh, operator. Okay, so let's see portrait. And if you have boating, this will allow you to also uh, do boating roles for piloting. I thought it's not on here for some reason. It hit. Cocksucker. Oh. Also, doesn't it have rate of fire three? Uh, it does. So, so it's two more, right? Two more. Or you can um, right click on it and change the number. To uh, modifiers or where? Uh, oh, a text. Uh, one hit, one miss. Yeah, I can't do that for some reason. Oh, because locked. Derp. All right, that's me turn. 
I didn't change it twice. Uh, because it was a Raider Fire 3, and I already shot one. Okay, so let's see. I give him three wounds, but it's treating it differently. Let's see. Okay, driver must make a maneuver roll or go out of control. Okay, so I happen to have a maze rat on here who is... I mean, he's on the combat tracker. I haven't put him on the map because I'm going to use him for all the crew. And so he has to... I think you can click the bullet next to where it says that, and it'll give you the little, little table to do it. The vehicle and everyone on board is vulnerable until the end of their next turn. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I think a minus two. I think there's a vulnerable status, isn't there? Or a yeah. modifier? Is there? Or a factor? Let's look. Yeah, minus or plus two to attack them. Yeah. Well, this is uh, pretty easy then. Plus two. There's three vulnerables in here. It'll be pretty easy because there's only one. And yeah. you, you well, can you can tell me that you know this is a you know uh, called shot, or if you get a raise, you can say it's a called shot and you took out a crew member. Okay. I'll just use the one guy over and over again. So that's the one. And then the vehicle damage. Yeah, so so Albert, you see him scramble up on top of the roof, and he, he opens up an ammo box and grabs a magazine, shoves it in there. You guys get up, and all of a sudden you hear him, pow, 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 and, and there's like <laughs> three holes across the side of this this bow and everybody just freaks out because there's not even anybody on this other tug right now they're scrambling to get over there to it so that you've caught these pirates completely off guard so there are five crew members on there and if you want to uh you know do a called shot on the maze runner you will hit one of the crew members and you just tell me which one you know there's a driver two gunners on Gatlin guns, and then two other just regular crew members. And after I shot, I would totally look at them and give them the finger. <laughs> All right, Little Beaver. Little Beaver's not going to use any of the, the Gatlings or cannons or anything on that boat. <laughs> it's not his style. I would not be in Does range. Does he shoot an arrow? Range. Twink? Well, yeah. You know what Little Beaver's going to do? Yeah, he's going to shoot an arrow. Come on. Think about it. Goddamn Indian. What Indian Message shooting? for you, sir. You know, but he'll do nothing this round. Okay. He's he's just, are you going to go on hold or? No. Uh, am I really in? Yeah, I don't see any point. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, the tugboat. Uh, this one is doing nothing. Tim. All right, so you're I'm driving. piloting, and I, I want to do a good job, so I'm going to continue piloting. Uh, okay. But uh, I want to pilot it this way. So what can I move, 10? Uh, Just don't turn the bow. You can move, what was it, it's 10 around? Yes, yeah, so... Basically, three squares, because each square is, well, it'll tell you. It'll calculate it for you. So I think it'll come out to nine, maybe. No, it does do ten. You just have to go, like, the in-between. Okay. Go ahead and just move the boat where you want it. And? Okay. Oh, what else can I do? Can I... First thing I'm going to do is grab all these guys. And move a little bit closer, right? Just a little bit closer. You might kind of Can he take a shot with his Winchester while he's driving? Uh, I don't know. It seems kind of hard. What in the hell have I done? Um, well, you could, but it's going to be two actions. So you can be driving this thing and let go of the wheel for a minute and 
but it could have a bad effect. No, he, he, no, he's okay. He wants to be concentrated okay. on his driving. So, all right, that's all he wants to do is just drive. Very good, very good. Uh, that's your big M tugboat. So he's moved with you. That's good. HG. Uh, it was like I kind of messed up as we were starting the combat. And I was going to do something that didn't end up working out. I don't know if you want to give me the red and blue chip back. I don't really need to spend them. Uh, but, you need a red and blue chip back? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to help people load. I'm going to cast quickness. Oh, quickness with a raise. So I won't be able to get below an eight. And then I'm going to use summon ally to turn on my little robot minion. I'm going to leave it as the low level ally. And then I'm just going to have him loading guns as well. Okay. So you're oh, adding. I have one cannon. So. The cannon and the. Yeah, but it's like eight rounds or something to load it yeah, yeah but the gallons don't require anything so that's two people loading three yeah, so actually give me three and people him loading, loading the gun. helping too so yeah well timmons is driving he wouldn't be running to the front and helping load the the cannon but it's a, a jeb so that's Je okay who else on the cannon jeb jeb HG, doc fong doc fong and this guy so that means that every two rounds you can fire if he summons his ally and, and has him. And HG, too. He's on the cannon, too. Yeah, HG. HG, Doc, Jeb, but, and HG's ally. Summoned ally. Four of them. Four of them. And so that put, leaves... Put, 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 the, the I can't balls around. Little Beaver <laughs> standing up there with his bow. And uh, I I'm guess... Sure. He'll be actually with the cannons as well, because... That's... Right, well, one of us should go to the Gatling gun. Somebody needs Somebody to be on the other Gatling. Oh. Gatling. Yeah, I don't. I can't be on one of the guns. There's a reason I didn't go for shooting anybody. <laughs> okay. I'm more likely to hurt us than them. Hey, yeah. yeah. You think? See if you could get one of uh, the root canal with that Gatling gun there, Doc the King. Oh, don't mention root canal. Jingo's canceled the stream because <laughs> toothache over here. Yeah, but uh, he's uh, yeah, but if he, he ain't feeling ah. if he, if he Schultz there, he'd be better already. He's probably okay. passed out already. So whose turn is it, Doc Fang? You're loading. Uh, well, somebody who's firing a cannon? Because you guys could fire this cannon. I was planning on fire. Jeb's fire. I was planning on firing it. Okay. So we're all it's all loaded and ready to fire for right now, right? Yeah, you need to read. Yeah, yeah, you need. You, you, you need to rethink that. Yeah, I didn't spend my action loading anything. I spent my actions using quickness and summoning summon an ally. ally. But we did right. the last turns to load it. Yes, the last it's, eight. Turns. It's all ready to go. It's ready to go. It's, somebody just needs to fire this round. Right, okay. but somebody, other people are committed to loading it. Is what they're doing. Next, right, next round. So, so after. Once it fires, I'm going to load it, OD work on loading bus. it. In the meantime, I could take a shot at this thing. But that would be using your action instead of using your action to reload the cannon. Right. We're going to use the next two rounds action to load it. Oh, he, okay. He, he can't reload the cannon right now. It's loaded. It's already yeah, loaded. Yeah. So you're going to take it. You're going to take a shot. Okay. I'm going yeah. to move you up be to. Closer because our ship is closer. You're on the front of the boat. You're right here. Put you right there in the front of the boat. Oh, that's not your boat. Um, Fuck. Here. That's the wrong boat. wrong boat. I feel like I'm on the wrong boat. Uh, uh, did I just... What I happened? I feel like I am a boat. I think you did. What happened? <laughs> did it delete it? No, the tugboat became Doc Fong. <laughs> you can't stack tokens, remember? <laughs> you have to you well, where's Doc Fong at, then? I'm still here, but we're the same. I see Doc Fong is the token. <laughs> but that's the characters go longer on the map. You gotta take one of us off and put it back on. Oh, that says Big M Tugboat. 
That is fucking funny. <laughs> Why are you a fucker? All right, here we go. So <laughs> let me get this. Uh, I warned you about stacking tokens. All right, big M tugboat. There's a token back for that. He was sitting right here. And Doc Fong was on the front of it. So what I'm going to just put you to the side. Getting nowhere I mean, it's going to be close enough. Yeah. All right, Jeb, prepare that cannon. In the meantime, I'll see if I can do anything with this Winchester. That is a miss. Mm, they are kind of far away. All right, I'm prepared to help ready the cannon again. Okay. He's going to sling that over his shoulder and get ready. All oh, right. Wait, first he's going to cover his ears because Jeff's about to launch again. Yeah, this shit's going to be loud. He sticks his fingers in his ears. <laughs> All right, so Jeb. I turn the cannon a little bit towards this one because I'm imagining it swivels a little bit on the bow. Oh, yeah. And I line up my shot. Let her rip. That's a hit. Oh. Thank you for not rolling double Damn. ones. You're welcome. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. Two wounds. To the uh, maze runner, it puts a big old hole in it. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> did uh, did that soak? It didn't soak. Why did that not soak? Did uh, you try to soak? Yeah, I'm trying to soak the uh, the maze runner's wound, but it won't. Uh... Also, don't you need to have an edge to be able to soak the vehicle you're in? Oh. Okay. Well, let's apply it. Good. No oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you shit. Sank your battleship. I sank your battleship. I sank your battleship. Describe <laughs> this. You're hollering yeah. out to the crew. Turn it this way. Turn it this way. Because that's a big he fucking heavy cannon. So you can't just kind of swivel it yourself. You are you know, you guys are moving, right. moving right there, right there. Okay. Boom. You fire. What happened? It, it goes out, it arcs a bit, and smashes just above the waterline, this big-ass hole in the side of the hull. And it immediately begins to sink. Well, I suspect it was the cannon that did that, but perhaps my rifle shot just took a long time to reach. No, no. Sure. It was well, my, it, want, it was my deadly gun. Them? Do, do we want to keep them? No. <laughs> We're going to say, yeah. let's see, um, I'm going to give, there's five of them, right? Well, that doesn't make any sense. What the hell? I rolled a percentage <laughs> die. I rolled a percentage die, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, percentage die. So that's what, 130? <laughs> 79, so that guy's alive. Yeah, perhaps uh, the, the D100 guy. should be. I just got to roll in the tower. Says that's us if we're all together on a boat. No, I, I think one of the dice <laughs> ace <laughs> is what it was. Yeah. But they don't know. So basically, it's like 130. Or 113. What's funny is they're all still trying to stay on the thing. Yeah. <laughs> like it's gonna stay afloat. Where they're this like, cannonball oh, where this cannonball it. hit this boat, it just ripped through the side of this engine. You just see wood and fucking metal flying everywhere, and there's like three guys and this piece of metal spins around and sticks this one guy right in the chest and just about Ooh. cuts his body in half and he drops. And there's another guy that was in direct alignment with this cannonball, and it just took him right. I mean, just disintegrated him. You see, part of his body kind of kind of fall over the side of the boat, and uh, 
there's another guy that just dropped to the side of the deck. So you're not sure what happened to him, but now there's two of them and they're looking around and they're looking at you and they're thinking, oh shit. And you see them, they start to run over and grab buckets. <laughs> that ain't going to help you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maybe the barge, you rearrange the deck chairs while you're there. The barge does nothing. Dr. Schultz. No, no, they, they, they should totally start playing, you know, uh, their stringed instruments. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. wrong, wrong boat. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, here, I'll put you on either side. So you move Jet back out of the way. Ooh, that one's farther away. Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh, well, fuck it. Why not? Uh, Schultz will actually line up the Gatling gun and shoot over the bow of the uh, little tugboat that could there toward the uh, Maze Runner 14. The one with people scrambling. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Schultz pretty good with this. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, did you roll three shots? No, he didn't. No, just roll. Uh, unlock the uh, the the thing. Right click on the the attack for the Gatlin, and in the top left there's number of attacks, and then click three or two for now, and then change it to three afterwards, and then do the other two. I don't see what you're talking about. You have to unlock the. I did unlock it. Yep. Okay. And so right click on the die itself. You're shooting yeah. next to the Gatling gun. Okay. In the uh, upper see. left of the radial window, there should be a little box with question marks. Tax, yeah, okay. If you click that, you'll see numbers. For the rest of this attack, choose two, and then afterwards, change it to three. Okay. That's the pew, pew, pew button. That's a miss. Okay, it's okay. The first one was good enough. Okay, we'll apply that. Uh, let's see. Driver makes a roll. Oh, shit. <laughs> Airplanes are space. Everyone. All oh, right. Wow. <laughs> so, so one of these bullets comes skipping off the, like, pow, right off the wheel the ship's wheel on this thing and the driver goes fuck and he bends over and he jerks the wheel and the whole ship takes a uh, starts to take a hard sharp turn and everybody kind of rocks over to the side on this thing when it does it uh, i think they need agility checks to see if they prevent from falling off or at least falling down and hitting their heads oh or they just got hurt Let's see, crew, for direct damage, subtract the vehicle's armor appropriate for the victim's position and apply the remainder to the random crew member, to a random crew member. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, one, two is the driver. Uh, three, four, five, six are gunners. That's the driver. That's right. Yes, it so, so so bounced off the wheel. It didn't bounce off the wheel. Right it bounced off eye. of him. Uh <laughs> Let's see. Apply the remainder. What's the remainder? Wait a second. For direct damage, subtract the vehicle's armor. I think that's armor. The, the damage that you okay. did. You subtract, do it instead to the crew member. Right. So subtract the damage. It would be the vehicle's armor is uh, what the hell? What's a tugboat's armor? Does it have any? Twelve. Oh, it's toughness and a two in parentheses. Yeah, it's I don't got, know what that means. That would be afterwards. That's its armor, the toughness. It'd be six, T it's got, seven, it's got eight. It's got two armor. Two yeah, armor? two armor. Okay. Yeah, that's so that's 13 is. points of damage to the driver, which is probably going, let's see, Maze Rat. Uh, where's he at? Where's that fucking Maze Rat at? There he is. So, well, if, oh, it's if his, his turn. This is five or less. Yep, his. Uh... 
Where the hell is that popping up at? Oh, way over here on that screen. Okay, Maze Rat. Uh, his toughness is five. So that's eight. But I don't know how to add damage to him without, you know what I mean? Well, well it's something that you'll have to calculate manually. Right, but, but how do I add it? How do I add it to a? So it's it is a wound. Well, he's a moot. He's dead. Okay. All right. Captain of the boat's dead. The bullet hits him. The boat veers. That's fucking cool. Who did that? Doctor King Schultz. All right, that maze runner is the one that's incapacitated. Uh, so it's going to sink in one die six round. Okay, two more rounds. It's going. Rob Conway. Blah, 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 nope. Blah, blah, blah. Nope. Maze Runner 14. Maze Runner 14 took a hard right and was running at probably half, no, probably full speed on these guys. Their speed is. I don't think we're going to need that second hand shot, guys. Yeah. So the boat. I thought the wheel would still be kind of turning. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I'm going to say that it, the wheel is probably still turning. Because. So I'm going to put him down here, going that direction. Now, Rob Con. Let's see how far away I am. Uh, he's, he's currently too far to do anything. Uh, too far. Seven, Way too seven. far to do anything. Yeah, too far away. Uh, uh, so I guess go on. Uh, well, it said Rob Conway was on hold, so he has to come off a hold or. Just go on hold again. Yeah, just go on hold again. Maze Runner 15 was dealt a red joker. Doesn't matter, he's going down. <laughs> he's going down, going down now. Oh, um, no, it's a, oh no, it's a borrowed ship. <laughs> That's right. where ghost ships come from. <laughs> this one, uh, we'll say one of the crew members grabs a hold of the wheel. And gets it straightened out. Does he get to do a boating roll? Oh, they're all sailors, so. Oh, See, he can roll double one and hit himself in the face instead. Yeah, it's the. Uh, yeah, he gets he gets it under control. <laughs> uh, but but he doesn't really know what the hell has happened yet. So he's got a hold of the wheel. He'll be able to act the next round. Albert. Uh, he's fixing to shoot him. So he goes, kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Let's see. Hit, miss, miss. Hit, miss. I hit one. Of course. Oh, did this, did this oh. one also ricochet off the, the fucking wheel? Of oh, oh, fucking course. No, that one just gets to the boat and like peters out. Yeah, I just kind of boom, that was it. Uh, and I, he'll he'll look around. Yeah, I meant to do that. Albert, do your shots need additional stamina? Yes. Do you have any booze for me? Little Beaver. Why well, these two discuss stamina? Does does he see anybody like roaming around on that boat, uh, trying yeah. to escape? You see, uh, let me let me do this because he is not incapacitated. Uh, you see two uh, two maze rats uh, that are trying to bail this fucking boat out. You see them like they're running for buckets or something, like they're looking for equipment right now. So they're kind of frozen in time. But uh, huh. yeah, now how come that shows him in? Oh. There we go, Maze Rat 90. Yeah. So you see okay. there's 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 two others that there's two guys out of the five that live through this. Okay. Little Beaver will take aim at one of them and he'll 
just target that uh, maze rat right there. Yep, unleash an arrow. Boom. That was the maze one. runner. See the uh, maze rat in the water right beside him? Okay. So target him. All right, now roll to hit. Well, that's weird. Long range, minus four. No. Yep. Uh, yep. That's a miss. Wait, 25 is long range for a bow? It should be. Yeah. Is wow. it? Yeah, it's 12, 20, 12, 24, and 48 according to this, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I just looked at it. That's pretty crazy. So it's just barely long range. Yeah, yeah, just barely. But it's a little cherub uh, bow, though. It's like Where was he point. standing at? Wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. You're standing at the front of the bow. Yeah, I'm putting everybody yeah, at the yeah. closest spot possible. Uh, so Silly. he's right there standing on the front of the boat. Now, uh, I, I can't, unfortunately, it'll treat it as a melee attack if uh, you'll have to shoot again. Right, but it would be a two, it would be a four, it'd be a hit, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but it needs to, go, I mean, just go ahead and attack him again. Bad. Go ahead and attack him again. Attack again. Where? Okay, oh, now I, I can do, well, I can, wait a second. No, that, that that's still a miss because of the medium range. Uh, it takes the, the what you that, rolled, five, and then tracks the minus okay. two from the first. Yeah, it's right, but. Yeah, it, it just kind of right, reads okay. funny. That's fine, that's fine. All right, very good. Jeb, you uh, working on loading this cannon? Hmm. <sighs> Jib, should we continue loading the cannon? Yeah, we might as well. So that's okay. one. I'll get that stick that you push down into it. Tugboat 88 does nothing. Barge 81 does nothing. Timmons. Timmons is driving. Uh, can okay. I go faster than 10th? <laughs> I mean, without blowing uh, shit up? You know what? Let's let's see if... Uh, give, me, give me a boating roll. Uh. All right. So with that boating roll, does the? Uh... I'm not sure. <laughs> Actually, Albert, we're closing down after this round. So I meant to close down after the last round. I forgot about it. Um, no worries. Uh, so we'll we'll say that you're you can move the tugboat plus two. I'll give it a plus two pace on that success. So where would you like to move the tugboat to? Right there. All right. Very good. And Timmons is done because it's all you can do. All right. The maze rats in the boat. You see them, they start, they look like they start to get buckets and start to bail this thing out. And then you, you see both of them reach over and grab a couple of flotation devices and just dive off into the water. Screw this, we're out. Dr. Schultz, you've got two of these uh, maze rats in the water down here. Well, Dr. Schultz will definitely take a shot at it. And you're on the Gatlin gun up there up top. Of course, you could fire your own rifle if you wanted to, but it'd be on stable platform. Nah. You also have the maze runner targeted down there. Right. Yeah, I got the map. It's all shrinky dink. Uh, let's see, maze rat. Hit, hit, okay. miss. Damn. Hit with a raise. Okay, so I'll, uh, let's see, go ahead and roll your damage. Might as well roll the second one, and then we can yep. solve them. Oh, fuck. He nice. He's dead. Yeah. 
start sinking. They're like, oh no, and then then you bring the hammer down. Okay. Da, 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 da. So that's what there's only one left in the water now, and I'm gonna put him over here on this side. Oh, not ink. Oh, that's the boat. Okay, so I'll put this one, jump that. All right, uh, Doc Fang. Hmm, it looks like we do not need to worry about the cannon anymore. The ship appears to be sinking, but there's another one over there. Yeah, load cannon or take a shot? Load cannon. Oh, never mind. I thought I, I had my map at the wrong spot. I thought there was only two of them. Oh, yes, there is that one way over there. Hmm. It's all far away and hard to see. I'll continue to load this. I'll push the stick in and do the thing. All right. The, the, Rob Conway is on hold. Uh... Resolve or continue? Uh, he'll resolve it since I'm close enough now, right? Yep, let me move him down here. I'm going to move Doc back up here. She'll spec up here. Rob Conway, I'm going to put him here on the front of the boat. Here we go. Kaboom, kaboom. Hit the maze rat. Hey. <laughs> miss, miss. Cocksucker. Oh, because he has a minus two and so just out of range. Why was there only two rolls? I thought it was supposed to be three. Gatling uh, yes. yes. pistol is a ready to fire of two. A question though, if oh. he has the Gatling pistol built into his arm, is there still recoil? I wouldn't think so. That's just how I set up in here. Hmm. Not sure. We'll talk about that later. Go ahead and take a... Uh, you're going to go off hold with Rob Conway before we... Yeah, you have to... Yeah. Like, right clean uh, combat tracker. HD, maybe you can put some springs in his arm to avoid that. There you go. There we go. And... When we start next week, the Maze Rat has Joker. Which maze rat is that, though? That's the non-incapacity, which is just the boat, which means fuck all. So, with that, is anybody out there to raid? Uh, oh, this Raiders. is the maze rat. This is the rat that's in the uh, the drink, not the boat. Kids, if we're done, I'm going to head out. All Let's right, J-Rob, thank you, buddy. You got to work in the morning? Yeah. All right. Have a good night. All right, you guys all right. be good. Take care. No game tomorrow. I'm taking no, off too. There is, there is a game tomorrow. There is a game tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Cool. See you then. All right. Yes. Uh, I don't see anybody to raid, so we're just going to call it right there. Thank you, everybody, for coming by the stream, scaring the shit out of me a couple times. Uh, always <laughs> appreciated. Truly is appreciated. Thank you all. We'll see you tomorrow right back here for Curse of Strahd. Save uh, Marb time. Save Marb channel. That's right. <laughs> um, and Saturday night, are we going right into it, or are we taking a week off, Drake? No, I think we're I think we're playing Saturday. Rick and Morty. Yeah, we finished. Uh, I, I get to Spin. play D and D. I get to play D and D. Yeah, Spin was in my Thursday morning game, and he said it is a go. Cool. All right, so uh, we'll be on uh, Rob Tui's channel on Saturday night. Uh, first first session of uh, Rick and Morty, and then Call of the Deep uh, with Drake next Tuesday on Drake Takes. So have a great weekend, everybody. Bye bye. See ya.